whoa, it's big Christmas movie season. You better believe it. Uh, we put up a poll on the Planet Broadcasting Great Mates group on Facebook. More like a candy cane. No. And oh. uh, Could we put a candy cane in the post? I wanted, no, I wanted to do... Could you put a candy cane in the post for me? I will, I will put a candy cane, candy cane in the post box and we'll just see what happens. Okay, great. On probably, a really hot day. Probably... So probably, it liquefies over everybody's mail. Probably possums <laughs> yes. is what will happen. But uh, people chose Home Alone. I wanted to do Love Actually because it's weird. It is weird. <laughs> I, look, I only saw it... For the first time, like a cu- a few years ago. Yeah. So as an adult in the 2020s, and it, boy, look, I understand. I mean, there's some good stuff in that but movie. But also yeah. a lot of it is weird and doesn't hold up. Oh, and yeah. Kieran anyway, has got a train driver's hat on for a lot of it. There's a reason for that. We'll talk about it while we're watching the movie okay, Home Alone. Okay, let's do that. All right. I'm going to say three, two, one, play. Uh, so we're all synced up. And then when the 20th Century Fox logo disappears, we'll say, well, there it goes. And then we're all synced up. Yeah, nice. So three, two, one, play. I'm so excited to talk about Love Actually during this screening <laughs> of Home Alone. <laughs> My goodness. So, uh, yeah, did you see this at movies? That, that that spotlight doesn't sync up on the one on the left. No. Look, look, at, at, the, look at the black line around it God. as well. God. Gone, it's gone, Awful. everybody. Yeah, I agree. But great movie. John Hughes, the but great not man. But uh, he wrote this with Chris Columbus. Okay. But this is one of Chris Columbus's, well, it's, he, he directed a movie before this, but this is like his breakout movie. Yeah, right. But not Macaulay Culkin because he was in Uncle Buck. Oh, yeah. Mm. And he's Uncle recently Buck got is a star. He's recently got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. With Catherine O'Hara, who's in this. Oh, yeah, that's right. Plays his mum, so that's My exciting. Goodness. So, uh, yeah, just good, fun memories of this. I remember because my, my dad is a firefighting man. He still oh, is, even though he's 150 years old. <laughs> yes. And um, they used to do this thing where they'd have movie nights oh, yeah. where some, somebody, some weird guy who was in the fire department uh-huh. ha- had a projector. Oh, yeah. There's in the early one. 90s. There's always one. <laughs> and that's where I saw this movie. Mm. Um, and I loved it. I still love it. I still think it's great. Have you ever, has there ever been a canonical explanation for why that last E is small? Because that's Kevin and he's a little guy. Presumably, because oh, yeah. there's so many people. I don't know. <laughs> John Williams came in. Mm. Yeah, so I mean that that would be a that would be a perfect clickbait uh, article, I think, to explain w- what all the letters in Home Alone oh represent, God. like yeah. which characters. I think we could get AI to write that one. Definitely. Yeah. Look at this house. A lot of people have asked the question, "How did this family afford this house?" Uh, the, it the was parent, the late '80s, early '90s, and the parents worked for arms manufacturers. <laughs> That's right. But internally, okay, this does look a lot like a. Uh, like a like a sitcom set. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say it looks like a real house. It does look like a real house. It, it was built on a basketball court in uh-huh. the same place they shot like Ferris Bueller and whatever, yeah, right. like the same school. Uh-huh. So because it was done on a pretty low budget, uh-huh. all things considered. Anyway, there's a there's a show on Netflix called The Movies That Made Us, and they have like I watched this a few years back, and they they go into all of that and how this came together and who uh-huh. got hired and fired and everything. Um, it's very interesting. And one of the things I remember is the aesthetic of the house yes. is red and green because Christmassy. Uh, yeah, but, it's, course, yeah. but it would be that all year. All year, yeah. Yeah, and I never noticed that. So that's fun. Kids would be like, can I go over to Kevin's house? And the parents would be like, that weird red and green house, that weirdly <laughs> themed house. <laughs> but there's too many people in it. Mm, it's that's just right. like 15 kids live in mm. that house or whatever. Now, we were, talk- we were going to talk about Kira Knightley's train driver's hat. Oh, yeah, yeah. She um, had a big pimple. Oh, and they couldn't cover it, it. Yeah. and they couldn't CGI right. it at that point. But so much of that movie is like, uh, I can't remember the specifics, but it doesn't hold up. Like, well, she was it. seventeen when that's she made it. it. That's what I'm. I mean, <laughs> and she's not seventeen in the movie, right? Presumably, uh-huh. she's thirty-seven. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that's which, right. The, she's over it. She's past. That's it. as late as you want to get married. By the oh, way, absolutely. Don't yeah. even bother. That's <laughs> right. I mean, that's really pushing it as well. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Yeah. Tell you what, though, yes. Macaulay Culkin, yes. who once said a nice thing about us on Twitter. Oh, that's right. Um, but I th- he's probably dropped off, I assume, at this point. And <laughs> of course. Almost certainly not listening to this. Uh, he, um, what a find. Like, he's so good in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he's and nine? All oh, right. Yeah. And he did the thing that I got to respect, which is he made a lot of money early. And then he stopped. Yeah. He's just like, I retire. Mm-hmm. Right? He didn't go. Oh, oh my God, God, it's Kieran Culkin. All oh, right. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. He didn't go, right, clearly. When did they let Joe Pesci in? Well, he's pretending to be a cop. No, I know, but they, he was... The, he was there at the start. He was there at the start, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he's, that's bad it story is clearly telling. fake police uniform, uh, or it's yeah. just one from the era that I don't recognise. <laughs> that's right. What does that patch even mean? Probably something, but I don't recognise yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. That's the number of um, old ladies he's helped cross the street. Oh. He's at four. Wow. Yeah, he gets five, and he gets a free soft serve. My goodness. That's right. And his 40-year career, God, he's doing well, isn't he? <laughs> That's right. 
<laughs> now, of these, of the kids in this movie, yeah, how many what, are famous? Well, I was going to say so. Uh, so, Kieran Culkin, who's now in Succession, right? yes, is in Succession. Was oh, it's over now. Right? Was all oh, right. God, if you don't mind me saying, he's uh, still in it. If you watch S- the Dividers, Scott Pilgrim recently returned. Oh, of as course, well. yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, and and obviously, um, this guy. Yeah. Kevin Culkin. Kevin Culkin. Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> Kevin uh, Macaulay Culkin. But of the other kids, do we know, are they are they uh, Well, Buzz to... is still kind of acting, but also uh, bad stuff. Oh, no. Allegations and things. Oh. He was in, like, some episodes of Supernatural or at least one, and he has okay. done other things, but, right, right. but yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, bad stuff. <laughs> so, okay, <that's> great. <laughs> it's good to get that out of the way early. Yeah. And you that's know? the that's the pinnacle. Yep, and that's okay, the commentary, great. everybody. Good night. But I mean, that's the that's you know that's mm. the nature of child acting. Of course, is you know the kids have a particular look or a thing, and then they they age out of the look, and then you know, and then also it's you know, that's the nature of Hollywood. It's not everybody, not everybody keeps it going. And again, like I said with Macaulay Culkin, you know, he just went. I ret- he moved to France, I think. Oh, okay, yeah. He moved to France, and he was just and he did. He was in a he was in a pizza themed band. Oh, that's right. It was called like Pizza Underground or something. And it was Velvet Underground. And it Underground. was Velvet Underground, but just pizza. Just pizza, yeah. <laughs> boo, buzz, boo. No, he's, he's just a boy stuff. here. He hasn't done anything okay. yet. Okay, just right. Okay, so we can't boo him Cut yet. him some slack. Now, this that kid looks like he'd be, like he's got a, a career at some, like he looks sure. like he'd be in like Freaks and Geeks or something. Oh, yeah. Might be a bit early for that. Oh, well. But yeah. Oh, my okay. goodness. Mm-hmm. What a movie. That's right. Yeah. Now, obviously, this this movie has spawned, a, speaking of clickbait articles, this movie has spawned thousands of clickbait articles. And a lot of them are like... I thought you were going to say sequels, but yes, also clickbait How many sequels articles. has there been? Uh, there's, an, there's the second one, which has everybody returning. Three okay. and four have different kids. Right. Um, and then they did a remake... Series? Which might be set in this universe. It's got Pete Holmes as the dad in it. Oh, that's right. From like yeah. two years ago. And people didn't that, like yeah. it because like... The, the villains were, like, sympathetic because they're doing it because, like, oh, they've been they're crushed by the economy yeah, or something. Yeah, that's right, yeah. I haven't seen it. I don't know. Well, I mean, know. the second one, if I remember The second correct, one's just this, but, you know, it's all right. I mean, the second one is this, but in this in the first one, he's defending himself from the burglars, allegedly. Yeah. But isn't it in the second one? Doesn't he lure them somewhere and try to kill them? Yeah, man. Great. Good. He's a psycho. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> he also reprised his role in, like, a Verizon commercial or something as an adult. And didn't he also... Wasn't he also in, like, a little short film? I think it was like a, a killer or something. Yeah, it was like a he's like a taxi cab guy. And he's got yeah, I think okay. it might even be a I don't want to say a Max Landis thing, but it might be a Max yeah, Landis, Landis thing. But I don't know. Right, right. I know well Macaulay Culkin and Max Landis they used to do some work together. Um okay, that, that'll do it. Just 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 bringing up people, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normal yeah, yeah. people that Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just normal everybody. I mean but again, that's that's the nature of this this when was this nineteen ninety or something? Yeah, something like that. So by you know, it's been thirty plus years. Might be eighty nine. Of course, everybody's done. Some people have done great stuff. Some people have done less. Catherine great O'Hara. Stuff. And you eat Catherine O'Hara, of course. Yeah. Yeah, nineteen ninety. Yeah. It took me a really long time to twig that she was the same woman in Shit's Creek because she's so like just off kilter at that. Yeah, like she's so God, normal she's in this. Yeah, it's weird because she's not normal at all. Like oh, in real her, life. No, not. I don't mean like she's like what a odd bod. I mean like you know she's not this. Yeah, right. She's like like a kooky Straight artist. An arrow. Kind of, yeah, right. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. You yeah. really had to rein it in for this. Absolutely. Okay. Why don't they give pizza boys outfits like this anymore? Because of the economy, probably. Why don't they have... Well, I mean, the, the economy, but obviously it's also the same reason they don't have those pizza delivery cars. They have the giant phone on the roof, mm. which were real for a long time. They used to be around. That's Where true. are they? Where? What happened to the giant... It's like... Um, what happened? I, when I was... A, I, when they all I, went under really yeah, low bridges. There's a When I was a kid... It's there was a I read a, a DC comic book. It was a Secret Origins comic book. It was written by Neil Gaiman. It was the, it was the Riddler recounting his origin and why he retired. Oh, okay. Because he retired in the nineties. But it takes place in a warehouse where all the weird novelty, like all the stuff, all the stuff from Gotham City has been stored. So like the big typewriters and yeah. all. You know, there were always the, Batman was always battling villains on a big. Stupid clock yeah, or whatever, or whatever, and yeah. I'm, th- so what I'm saying is, there must be a warehouse where they've stored all the big fiberglass phones. Totally, that went on the top. Of oh, you think pizza. they're all fiberglass? I think so. Yeah. I reckon they're all real. Oh, so that's a functioning phone. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And it'd still be made out of fiberglass, though. I guess it would be, mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway, what I was go- where I was aiming for earlier was that um, that dad, not memorable. Um, Him? Yep. Yeah, he is. He's passed away, uh-huh. but. Uh, he actually thought this movie was going to be terrible, and then he apologized. Oh, okay, like, great. Actually, it was really good. Great, great, great. Yeah. Um, the, the the many many clickbait articles that are like, uh, how would this even happen? Uh, oh yeah. Uh, how, but but oh, they explain it in the yeah. It's always <laughs> the the article is always written by people who only vaguely remember the movie. Yeah. 
And they maybe they look at the Wikipedia page and go, well, he, the, the, he couldn't call the police or whatever. And then it's like, mm, well, no, they explain why you can't. Or like, yeah. how could the, 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 the parents... The parents don't notice he's not there at the airport. And it's like, well, they explain. They do a head count and there's yep. a neighbourhood kid there. And he got his head... Yeah, they count the wrong head and they whatever. Count the wrong right? head. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They so talk about all... phone lines being down yeah, and yeah, all yeah, sorts yeah. of things. Yeah, mm. yeah, they do explain it in the movie. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you'd never get it away with it now with social media. That's you right. just put on social media and be like, everybody rush to my house. Everybody yeah. <laughs> on social media rush to my house. That's exactly right. Oh, Kieran Culkin, you dog. <laughs> <laughs> did he? Did Kieran Culkin have uh, uh, like a like a child actor career? Or did he yeah, just a little bit, of, yeah. So he did a little bit and then he sort of jumped And then it was too. Scott Pilgrim was probably yeah, his right. first kind of adult uh-huh. um, role, even though they, oh, no, they're all like early 20s in that, aren't they? I think so, yeah. Supposed to be, at least. Oh, Kieran Culkin, you Kieran Culkin, you. Yeah. Oh, my God, the uh, passports. passports are getting mixed up. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, no. Isn't the passports? That's probably... probably Macaulay Culkin's passport. Because if it was anybody else's passport, they would notice. They would They'd notice. be like, that was Kieran Culkin's yeah, passport. Yeah, the, the, the guys at the... God, you just want to punch this guy, don't you? Who is that guy? I don't know. I just want to punch him. Punch Look him. at his face. Yeah. I bet he's like 42. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Well, that makes but, me feel a little bit better about myself. <laughs> yeah, they... You shouldn't. Uh, oh, that was his comparison. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm saying, wow, he looks so much better than you. Yeah. Mm. Thanks. Thanks, man. I appreciate mm. that. Wasn't a compliment. I don't know how you interpreted it that way, but um, because yeah. I'm stupid. Thanks, yeah. man. Oh, by the way, if you're listening to this on YouTube, because our Christmas ones always uh, always go up on YouTube uh-huh. uh, before Christmas. Yeah. Um, we have a service called BigSandwich.co. Just getting in a plug, Mason. Oh yeah. Where there's movie commentaries every month. We do video game let's plays. There's bonus podcasts, early videos, including Caravan of Garbage. Uh, it's nine bucks a month. It's like our Patreon. Uh, it, that's why we do less ads on that's in videos. Right. That's why we do less sponsors. Also, because it's annoying. When they're like, can you talk about this video game? I'm like, oh, but it sucks. I don't want to talk about Clash of Kingdoms. And they're like, thanks, that'll do. Yeah. (laughs) That's the audio we wanted there. (laughs) Did you get the copy in advance (laughs) where we say it sucks, but what else are you going to do with your life, you know, besides play a game on your phone? And let me tell you, mate, they pay exceptionally well. All the shitty stuff pays the best. I like all the separate... Headshots of all the family members oh, along, yeah. along the along the stairway there. I think that's great. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. What a nightmare of a house. To, like, looking at this colour scheme now, I can't yeah. unsee it. What a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. What an absolute... Oh, there's a picture of Buzz. Mm. Don't you reckon, though, it feels lived in, though? Yeah. You don't think? Ah. Uh, I'm sure... I remember... Maybe, maybe it was in that documentary or whatever, but... People, well, like you can visit the house. It's a real house. It's worth like oh, yeah. 2.3 million or whatever. I looked oh, it up. Must be nice. This. Must be nice. But that and people, will, but, but that doesn't look like that on the inside. It's oh, right. Okay. This is all set. Slightly different. Oh, my differently. goodness. Yeah, it's all sets. All Because then you've got to get the whole crew in and there's 17 people in this house or That's whatever. That's true, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a little rip in the wall there. That's fun. You know, they've, 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 it's yeah. just a little rip, rip in the wall. So if you can't. don't eat your meat, you won't <laughs> get a pudding. You know that guy? That? I do, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Which yeah. I think is fair. Yeah. Also, pudding, is it going to be a good pudding? If and also, who's not eating the meat? Got to eat the Whatever, meat. Gotta, I mean, you know. The, maybe it's because like, it's, it's, it's grey boarding school yeah, meat. Yeah, it's British grey boarding school <laughs> meat, isn't it? Yes, you're absolutely right. Probably yeah. Not. He's, got the, he's got the flag as well. The, the thing oh, that's wait. on Joe Pesci's uh, arm. So he must know Joe Pesci. He must, he must know be he friends with Joe Pesci. Yeah. Or maybe... Macaulay Culkin is also a police officer. He's also well, this isn't his bedroom. Uh, this is the basement. Do you think that is made? Based, Mason. It is very based. based. What state is this? What's, well, I mean, what state are we ever in? You yeah, know? It's true, gaseous. <laughs> I'm mostly gaseous, i tell you that I meant much. state of mind, but yeah, I'm uh, also gaseous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, maybe that's the, the state of... Like maybe that's the logo of California. Oh, I could be the flag. Like maybe it's the state flag. Yeah. Who puts up that many state flags? That's a great question. You know? Where is Home Alone set? It'll be like America. <laughs> great <laughs> idiots. Thanks, thanks AI articles that have <laughs> ruined everything. Terrific. We love that. Uh, it's Illinois. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna figure this out. It's got to be the state flag of Illinois. Yeah. Then. Or it's the thing about walking ladies across the street. Yeah, it might be that. No, it's an eagle holding a something. Okay. Maybe it's Sherma, Illinois. Maybe it's Sherma, Illinois. Yeah. Oh, the bloody power's gone out, James. God, people know as well. People know and they're furious at us. Because <laughs> that's state pride, probably. No doubt. Or local regional pride. Well, I don't know what my fucking flag is, do I? The Victorian flag. No. It's probably a wattle. 
It's probably a wattle, the symbol of our land. You can put it in a bottle, you can hold it in your hand. <laughs> I'm just That's it. Monty Python, I'm pretty sure. What is the flag hang? Somebody's done this on Reddit. Isn't it awesome? Somebody's already... Uh, Reddit's the best I know. search engine if you go through Google. Mm, yeah. <laughs> It's the right. flag of Chicago, I think. Okay. Yeah, it's the flag of Chicago, Illinois. There, there you go. go. We know. Now we know. Well, why did it not say Chicago? Also, we got... That ex- it explains the Michael Jordan as well, because there was a Michael Jordan oh, yeah. thing in Boston's room. Oh, yeah. That's right. Mm. Mm. This neighborhood kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you up to? Yeah. God, what a... How many kids do they have? So many kids. 100. Well, they're cousins and whatever, you know. Oh, yeah, right, right. Still too many. How many cousins you got? Two. Two? Yeah. On both sides? Yep. Jesus. Two and zero. What a miserable childhood you must have had. <laughs> I bet they're bad too. <laughs> I mean, statistically. I, would, I couldn't possibly comment <laughs> on such a public forum. See, I have on one side, I got like 19, and the other side, like 12 or 15. Oh, I okay. honestly don't know. And You put the no, kids in the microwave? There's, a, there's some bad ones in there, but there's some good ones. Oh, there there's you go. Yeah, yeah, good statistically ones, you know? speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but two, you don't, yeah. I don't like those odds. Because the first two are always bad. <laughs> That's right. Are they older than you? No, they're younger. Oh, yuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because like myself and my sister, we're the two bad ones. If yeah, my parents had had man. any more kids, they would be good ones. Yeah, absolutely. We didn't, so <laughs> they didn't, so. Well, you know. Two bad ones. They knew what they were doing. Yeah. Let's have two bad ones. <laughs> two bad kids. <laughs> to ruin the neighborhood with bad absolutely. kids. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with this kid? I don't know. Kid coming in the neighborhood, <laughs> touching uh, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Okay. Is that Jennifer Connolly? No, it's not knockoff Jennifer Connolly. Looks like Jennifer Connolly. Mm. <laughs> Who would be significantly older? Uh, not that now. much older. Okay. 1990. Oh, yeah, okay, good point. Well, Rocketeer was around this time, wasn't it? So yes, it was, yeah. It's probably early 20s, maybe. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's... Must that's be cool. nice to have a really nice big house and then take everyone to France for yeah. Christmas. Must be nice. Must be nice. Must be nice to have a big beige Look coat. Look this prick. I just want to slap him. <laughs> Which one? Now the guy who's you, who looks like you. Oh no, <laughs> me? Literally me? You? Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. That'd be good for the. That'd be good content. I tell you that much. That was something about the power or whatever. I think. Okay. I can't remember. What's that guy playing? Okay, but I Is that think a calculator? I think that young lady has deliberately adopted a Jennifer Connelly but they're look. Gray. Like I, I think even in the context of a movie, the she's aesthetic. like, I'm, I'm going to look a little bit like Jennifer mm. Connelly. Did you see that little portable video game that guy was playing? Yes. I want to know what it was. I bet it's one of those terrible like Tiger football electronics. handheld. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, bloop, bloop, yeah. bloop, game over. <laughs> bloop, bloop, batteries last forever. Yeah, you can yeah, never yeah, turn yeah. this off. Bloop, bloop. Mm. I was going to say the batteries run out, but they don't on those. They literally don't. Uh, yeah, I'm, I bet I have one from this era that still is still. You got going. one from this year. Wow, this era, James. Nintendo this should release more of those clamshell handheld things that they did. You know, I mean, they're not like clamshell. a like, a, like yeah. they did a Mario one and a Zelda one. Oh I yeah, I think they were just using old like Wii U parts and they ran oh, out. Oh right, yeah. Because I have a little Legend of Zelda, like a little. Give me a Super Nintendo one. I've got a little like one that's like just the tiny. It's not clamshell, but it's the tiny little. Oh, you show me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Is that the not the not an official one though? You just bought. No, that's it. no, that's for real. Oh, it is the official one. It's yeah. This too. There's a Zelda and the Mario one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, you're right. They're not clamshell. Mm. But um, you can full on play the bloody Legend of Zelda on the it. The thing about that shit as well. Yes. And we'll get back on topic. All right, first we'll of get... all, language. First of all, Sorry. language. We'll talk Second a... of all, the thing you're going to say. We'll talk about love actually in a second. Okay, great. But you can just buy that, buy like a little handheld like retro player and you can put a thousand yeah, games on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The appeal yeah. of that is like it's a, like a Nintendo manufactured whatever, whatever, mm, you know? Sure. Mm. So, yeah. yeah. You're not wrong. Wendy put his pajamas on. Didn't see him do it. This movie sucks. Ding, Cinema Sin didn't say, didn't put his pajamas on. We got ya. That's right. Mm. Mm-hmm. God, I can't wait to see how violent this gets. <laughs> it doesn't get violent until like way later, by the That's way. That's true. Then yeah. it gets super violent, mm. which is what I love about this movie. Do you love being home alone? Yes. Yeah, me too. Yes, and I'm not going to work or anything. Oh my God, the oh, dreams. Because even if you're in. going to work later the day, yeah, later the, the day, day, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucks yeah, it yeah. up, man. <laughs> no, I don't really do that at the moment because uh-huh. my work is this. That's true. But um, it's like I remember like when I do when I went, when I was you know or when I had a real job in teaching yeah, 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 or yeah. when I do like shift work. I worked at like McDonald's. Uh huh. And I just it had just like you start at four or six or whatever. It's just it would ruin my entire day. Yeah, I can't sure. do anything. Yeah, yeah, because there's simply no time. <laughs> well, even if there I is technically <laughs> time, but it's like what's the point? Yeah, I'm right. just gonna end up at work anyway. Yeah, this sucks. Do you think you were depressed? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> now this movie famously has some clips, so he he uses a little um a little audio grab from a TV oh, yeah, series yeah, yeah. To, to from a black Angels and white movie. with 
uh, dirty filthy soul. faces, dirty oh, souls. Okay, yeah. right. So that's not real, right? That's a fake. No, movie. I always thought it was, but yeah, they made that for this. Okay, all right. Oh, must Wouldn't be nice. Look at this. Nice. Look at this. Nice. What's that guy doing? What is? What am I doing on that screen? Oh, the little salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> yeah. Hey, okay, right. You're I'll, not happy with them. No, he's stealing them. He's oh, gonna steal them. Oh, that is something that you would do. Uh, yeah, I would steal which them. Which I do respect, by yeah, the that's way. Right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I want to get to the age where I can fly business class and I put my kids in first class. No, the other way. Right. They're not in first class, Mason. Oh, yeah. There's first class above business class. No, it's too late. You've said it. <laughs> oh, Your kids no. are going to hear this in future and they're going to be like, Dad, you promised. Well, my son recently did get to fly business class because uh, him and my wife went overseas for a wedding. Uh-huh. And there was a, there was like a very specific eight hour portion that they got to do. Oh. That they got this upgrade for like next to nothing. And I think it's ruined him. Oh, no. <laughs> now oh, he's, no. He's, he's expecting the best. Yeah, yeah. He's like, why doesn't this chair recline, Dad? The one we have at home. Where's the people bringing <laughs> me caviar? And I'm why like, am oh, I not no. In, why am I not in the business class <laughs> section of this kitchen table <laughs> where we're having dinner? And you're like, there is only one section, son. And he's like, not good enough. And you're like, oh, I, I live in fear of you, my son. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah. Is that iced tea? Yeah, that's iced tea. Nice. Nice tea. Nice tea. Okay. Because oh, this is bu- that's Buzz's room. Yeah. Rick and Morty, you know. He was in Rick and Morty. Apparently, you know how he's in his ice tea and Rick and Morty's from space and whatever? I didn't know that. Well, he but is. Right. But it's not really him. And apparently there was some there's some clause where like if you ask somebody yes. to do it and they say no, you can't just do it with somebody else's voice. Oh. So they didn't ask him and they just got a sound alike. Because oh. they're like, they're, otherwise we can't do this character. It's, a, it's an ask for forgiveness, not yeah, permission I, situation. I remember them. Okay. Re- that might not be true. but oh. um, a little cameo from Army Hammer there. Oh. Why are you bringing up him? I don't Why know. are we bringing up all of these people? Because I saw the Armand Hammer. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he's from that family or something? Isn't no, he? so the, the thing is that, if I remember correctly, his... Granddad or maybe his great granddad. Sure, his name was Armand Hammer. Yeah, right. And you might be like, did he found the baking soda company Armand Hammer? Yeah, that's no, my he question. didn't. But at one point, he owned it. He bought uh, it as a joke, and then changed the name. No, it was always called Armand Hammer. Oh, and he's what? like, well, I'd better buy this. I'll have it for a while. <laughs> I'm pretty confident that's true. That's fun. It sounds fake, but I'm oh, pretty confident it's enough. true because I have Google this in the past. Because I'm like, Army Hammer. That doesn't Arm seem. and Hammer. Arm and Hammer? Mm. I wish I could buy things as a joke. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> we can only buy serious stuff. Maybe I could buy another business class seat for my son as a joke. As a joke. If it's named after him. That's right. Yeah. Why does that knife block only have two knives in it? What do you think? Oh, for murder. Wait. Yeah, for murder. For murder. Some murders have happened. I understand, sure. Already. Don't you ever lose a knife? No. No, mate, you got to lose a knife. <laughs> you you got to <laughs> lose a knife. Living. You're not living if you don't lose a knife. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> Look at his perfectly tussled hair. I don't believe that's bad hair. You <laughs> don't think so? No, man. I've got bad hair right now. Mm, do you? Yeah. That's looking pretty good. Thanks, man. Why do you bother doing your hair at all if it just always looks like that? I don't know. Because it gets worse and worse and worse. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. He kind of looks like like a member of Westlife. It's like that kind of hair. Sure, you yeah. know, that late 90s, early 2000s kind of. Isn't it interesting that whenever you're in it, the fashion... Yeah. It seems normal. It totally seems normal, yeah. All those haircuts seem normal. That, like, Backstreet Boys, like, yeah. parted in the middle. That's of back, curtains here. Well, that is back, but and everybody and everybody thinks it's normal. Yeah. But it's stupid. No, nah, mate, it's The cool. only haircuts that, that are normal are the ones we have right now. That's just normal. Short back and sides. Short back and sides, just normal. Giant bald patch. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. We've talked about the mullet. In Australia, yeah. every, like, second young, young man has a mullet. Yeah. And I hate it now. Absolutely. I used to love it. But but there's too, too, it's on too many people now, and I'm like, Bleh. I was out the other week, yes. um, with and it was with people like men and women. I love a junior t- mint. Just, oh yeah. just just side note, love I love a, a senior mint mean, because I'm I've got that kind of taste. <laughs> um, well, this is minty, but it's also dusty. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's a boy, by the way. Because oh. apparently Chris Columbus was like, I don't want to be like, let's find an ugly, hideous girl, right, and okay. make fun of her in a movie. Okay. Um, so we'll find an ugly, hideous boy. Yeah, great. And say it's a girl. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. That's Hollywood logic, baby. Sorry, you were saying something about Yeah, something. and like, and so I was out with men and women and there was this, like this circle of bemulleted, weedily mustached guys. And they were probably like early 20s. Uh-huh. Just kept trying to come up and hit on like all the women in the group who were like older significantly. And it was like, um, it was like, <laughs> is this the same fucking guy? Like it <laughs> felt like... It was the same guy, and it wasn't. There was like fifteen of these guys, <laughs> but they all had like a tweed little mustache and a terrible mullet, and nothing to say. 
the continuous the continuing adventures of the Rolling Stones. Oh yeah, was one of the videos there. You ever seen that? No. Yeah, it's good. There was Bruce Springsteen, and then there's this fake. The boss. Yeah, the boss. This is a really good fake movie. Is it? <laughs> like it looks real. Who's that guy? I don't know. The guy in the movie. He's from Things. Oh, I'm gonna find out. Mm. Macaulay Culkin. That's too oh, much I remember. Ice cream. You know what? I remember I, that, that I I don't have. That make you. I sick. don't have incredible memories of this movie. He's in things. He is in things, isn't he? Yeah, he's also in things. But I do remember the giant bowl of ice cream. Yeah, the ridiculous. How much of that do you think is actually edible? Just the top bit. Yeah, because it would melt every scene, and you have to scoop out more. So. It would melt every scene. But again. This is the year when they had the money. Speaking of John Hughes, we, we've, we've, I think we've definitely talked about this in the podcast. This nearly got shut down, by the way, because it went over budget. But go on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a... I don't have the details here. So this is just... Oh, the, we don't need any details. We don't need any details. But there's another John Hughes movie, Plain Strains and Automobiles. Mm-hmm. And there were, re, quite recently, there was an oral history of that movie. I think it was in Variety magazine or something like that. Yeah. And there's a guy in the, the movie... There's a scene towards the end where John Candy and Mar- uh, Steve Martin... They they they're trapped in a town. They're snowed in, but they need to get home. They gotta get home. And but there's a there's a guy in the there's a uh, John Candy meets a guy in a truck, mm. like a big eighteen wheeler truck, who gives him a lift like for one leg of the movie. And they hired a particular actor for that. And uh, what's that were, guy's name again? He's in he's the guy the actor. Yeah, name? yeah yeah yeah. I don't have it here. Can't remember. Don't have yeah. it here. And there's no time to look it up. There's simply no time in yeah. this two hour movie to look it up. <laughs> But basically, they're like, okay, well, we'll hire you, and we're going to film in LA, in LA, and you get a thousand dollars for the day. And he's yeah. like, great, thousand dollars. I love that. This is where I live, yeah. and you know, it's uh, it's uh, going to be in a John Hughes movie, and that's great. And then they called him up later, and they're like, listen, the 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 filming, like, we want authentic snow, so we're going to go someplace snowy. We're going to mm. go to a different state. And he's like, oh, I guess I don't get to be in this movie. And they're like, no, John Hughes, we'll we'll fly you to the to the next place. And he's like, great, I'll, I'll get there. And then they got there, and then it wouldn't. That the snow wasn't right for John Hughes. <laughs> and so they're like... Not good enough for you, John Hughes. Yeah, yeah, they're like, but it's going to snow tomorrow. Yeah. So if you want to stick around another day, we'll pay you another $1,000. And he's like, absolutely, this sure. This would not happen and then it's Exactly. And then then it, it happened again. And then it happened. And then they're like, well, we actually... We heard the weather's better for this snowy in a different state. So they flew him around. And it, it went, sounds like John Hughes is funneling money through this man back right? to himself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it went for like months and months... And he got $1,000 every day and they kept flying him around. And I can't remember the exact figure, but it was an insane amount of money. Wasn't he one of the guys in the polka band or something? No, I'm thinking of this. Yeah. That's polka band in this. Never but mind. anyway, but it, but he, but yeah, so it, it eventually, he, the, the actor was like, at the, you know, I could, I, me and my wife couldn't pay rent at the start of this. And at the end we put it, we bought our first house. Yeah. Like it's that how much, that was that how much money. And also maybe it's the, just the versions I've seen of that movie. Oh, he's not I've, seen in it, it, right? I've seen it recently. The, the idea was he comes in and he says a line and then we don't see him for the rest of the movie in the movie. He doesn't even have a line. Yeah. <laughs> unless I've, unless, that's the cut I've seen within like the last year. So unless they changed it for the, for the home video release, he doesn't even say anything. Maybe they changed it because they, they've kept paying him. And they're like, we should take him out. I don't know what, we keep yeah, paying yeah. him $1,000 a day. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't put a cutoff time for that uh, <laughs> on that contract. It's just $1,000 a day. God. Yeah, and so that's, but that's the thing. That would never happen now. No. Because they would just go, oh, it's not snowing correctly. Well, we'll CGI it. Yeah. Just do the line and leave and then we'll, we'll, we'll fix it in post. Exactly. It's crazy. Yeah. God damn. Right. Is he even in a scene in the snow? No, that's it. He's just the the truck rolls up and he gives kind of a look like I don't like the look of these guys. Yeah, and then they get in the back of the truck and that's it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's the other guy's name? Is it Daniel Stern? Oh, in this, yeah, it's Daniel Stern. Yeah, yeah, because he nearly wasn't in this as well because he wasn't going to get paid enough, and they went with another guy whose name I can't remember, and then they ended up coming back to him. Yeah, because they were like, it's a six week shoot, but uh, no, it's an eight week shoot, but you get paid for six or something. And he was like, well, then no. And then they were like, actually, can you do it, please? And Joe Pesci probably would have got a lot. Yeah. Weird that Joe Pesci's in this. Because this is my first exposure to Joe Pesci. I didn't know that he was Goodfellas. Yeah, same. And the Irishman. How how would we have known? I wouldn't have known he was no. the Irishman. No, that's true. Yeah. But he's very selective about what he does as well. Like, he doesn't just pop up in... I mean, he's basically retired now, right? Yeah, he's been... Re- oh, he kind of... But he was in something. He came out of retirement for the Irishman, I think. <laughs> but there's a few other things. Like, people are always trying to get him to be their gr- grumpy... Grandfather, yeah, oh, absolutely, yeah. Do you want to be in Bad Grandpas or something? Yeah, right. And he's like, no, make De Niro do it. And I think they also went to De Niro for this as well. Yeah, that's fun. De Niro, mm. my goodness. Do you reckon those are rubber? 
they're lifting them quite easily <laughs> unless they're very strong. They could be very strong. They could be very strong. Mm. Yeah. The goddamn Grinch. Do you like the Grinch? Uh, I like the song, oh, which yeah. we're currently not hearing, but I'm sure it's in the movie. Sure. Um, you sell that ice cream. Well, how do you are you familiar are you familiar with the original story? And did you watch the Jim Carrey version? I have seen it. Isn't he sympathetic in it? They're always like, like they him. always make him sympathetic. And he's I sympathetic d- in the book. No, he's rotten. No, at the he? end he's oh, like, I'm end. sorry, and I got. But Christmas isn't he mostly spirit. rotten? Yeah, until the, the end, and then he learns the spirit of Christmas or whatever. Wow. That's the point. It's not he was mostly rotten, and then he stayed rotten. Oh, that's <laughs> a shame. Not, but they did a new one. They did one with Benedict Cumberbatch, like an animated one, a few years ago. Which is apparently fine. Oh, right, right, right. It's like right, Illumination right. or whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well. 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 Do you ever see that Daniel Stern movie where he's like a convict and he ends up taking kids into the wilderness? But it's a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Oh, no, no, no. No, I it's don't. It's called, no. like, called like Outback Man or something mm. or like Into the Wild. James, I've found the anecdote. The actor's name is Troy Evans. Troy play, Evans. Plain Strains and Automobiles. His character's name is Antisocial Trucker. <laughs> That but famous character. They hired me and I was going to shoot in LA. They offered me $1,000 for this one day to go in and say that one line. My agent called a couple of days later and said they've decided they're going to shoot that scene in New York. And I said, am I off the movie? No, no, you'll go to New York. Um, no, it's like this. No, 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 no you'll go to New, New York. York. But it didn't snow and they kept holding Evans for his one scene at $1,000 a day as the company moved from Buffalo to uh, Ohio to St. Louis to Illinois, taking him along for the ride to each new location. I don't remember, he says, I don't remember, it was 11 cities total. Ended up, I'm pretty sure, we finally shot the scene in Kankakee, Illinois, on my 51st day. Damn. So he got $51,000. To not be in a movie. Yeah. I would love that. And when I went back home, having done my one line in the movie, we bought our first house. So (laughs) that's incredible. Never never again. That's how you make money. That is how you make money. Mm. Yeah. Because I don't know if you know about this, (laughs) but every time I... Say that anecdote or a version of that anecdote on this, I get fifty one thousand dollars from me. Yes, yeah, so I'm up to two. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, that's right. You shouldn't have signed that contract as I went in. I was happy to do it. Mm-hmm. I didn't think it would come up once, <laughs> let alone twice. That's right. Uh, it was the only thing in your contract. That's right. There's nothing else. No wow. other money stipulations. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anything. But you know, you know. But that's mm. that's you know that's that's how life that's goes Hollywood. sometimes. Sometimes you're Troy Evans. Yep. Working on the movie planes, trains, and automobiles. Sometimes you're and they hold you over every oh. day for fifty one days. Okay. Yeah, fifty one thousand dollars. Yep. Okay, that's the one example. I've done it again. Yeah, great. I think that counts as the same thing because we were still in the conversation. Oh, damn it. Quite frankly. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Back to this movie. Love actually. Yes. Anyway, so she had a pimple, and that's why she's wearing the hat. Oh, okay. She could have yeah. worn a different. But again, that's the thing. Like there was the, a sequel to Love at actually. At the time, train driver hat totally normal. It was normal, but, but I think even at the time, I remember thinking, I don't like that. Oh, you, well, you can say that now. Is there? Do you no, have any? I, no, I can say it now. I, how about this? Yes. I went on a date with somebody who wore one of those hats once, uh-huh. and look, she's probably a better person than me in every way, okay. and I would even say better looking than me wow. if that's even possible. Wow. I said, and she wore one of those hats, and it completely threw me. Wow. And I was like, I don't know if I <laughs> look. I may have heard you say that have that say that anecdote before. It's real. But I'm saying, do you have any documentary evidence of that? Did I document it? Did you text anyone and go? This, did you test? Hang on, I'll find her on Facebook. <laughs> oh, she's still wearing the hat. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure she doesn't think about that at all, and I do. So who's the real winner? Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. My goodness. What is this that... Oh, she's rapping. Oh. Is that guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Kramer in Seinfeld, but he's not Kramer. He's the TV show Kramer when they cast yeah, Kramer. He's, he's also a, another thing. He's in The Avengers. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's the guy... Um, I don't wish say I the janitor, name. Mason. No, he's don't not. say the janitor who finds Mark Ruffalo. No, he's the janitor that finds Mark Ruffalo. I don't know if he is. I reckon he is. I reckon that's the guy. I don't. Th- I don't think it is. I'll bet you all the money that I've earned from saying the anecdote about playing. One hundred and two thousand dollars. Yep, that's right. All right, Avengers, old man, twenty twelve. Put some pants on, Mark Ruffalo. Yep, and he's like, hey, I soon have seen a big fella. I've got a story to tell you. You're a big fella. And he's just there. If you if you look at the, um, that's the other old man who stands up to Loki. Yep. Um, that's a different. There's guy. the um, if you if you what look at the red carpet photos for that Avengers movie, he's on the red carpet. And he's just smoking. He's just like wandering through smoke. Fucking not him. Look. Oh yeah. I knew it. Who am I thinking of then? 
Anyway, that'll be $102,000, thank you. Well, um, and, and, and your debt is clear. <laughs> <laughs> easy come, easy go, you know? That's life. Yeah, that's life. I do know a guy. My brother was telling me about this. You, your brother was telling you that you know a guy. He told me that I... He reminded me that I knew this guy. I don't remember for the life of me. Okay. But um, he did this thing where he saved up a bunch of money. And then he's like early 20s. It was a lot. I can't remember. It was like 25K or something. Oh, yeah, nice. It might have okay. even been more. And then he went to the casino and put it all on red. No. Guess what happened? He lost it all Correct. immediately. Oh, my God. You know God. this guy also. If I said his name, you'd be like, oh. Huh. Yeah, that, that tracks. <laughs> it's okay, I'll ask you. I'll, I'll ask you afterwards. But uh, please, yeah. God, but what if he'd won though? That's the thing. Like that's the. I mean, that's a great story if that you is, win. That is the. You know that that is. We, we would never dare to dream that that powerfully. You know, I what would I mean? never. Yeah, I wrote it down. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, that guy. Yeah. The big tall guy. Yeah. Oh okay. Wow. When was this? Like. Maybe 2006, maybe? Wow. Yeah. That explains why he's so sad all the time. <laughs> Which was not the only reason. No, there's other reasons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, okay. So there you go. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, don't do that. No. That's I mean, every now and then you'll hear stories where that works. And that's it. That's I mean, that's gambling, isn't it? That's that is why gambling. people chase it because they go, oh, I heard about this one time. He put a, I mean, you know, and they go, did, did, he, did he put it just on the one? He didn't go like... I think he did, yeah. Because some people have the technique... I'm saying in quotes oh. where they go. Well, you put a thousand dollars on, and if you win, you get your, you know, you get two thousand dollars. But if you lose, you put two thousand dollars on again, and then you make your money back. But if you lose, then because it put, always goes, yeah, red, black, red, That's black, exactly red, right. black, zero. And if you get into that red, black, yeah. red, black, <laughs> if you get into the gro- the correct groove, yeah, it's like when you're uh, going through traffic lights. If you get one green, you'll get a green all the way exactly to the, end of the line. You know. Yep. But um, yeah, some people have that, and they go, "Well, uh, and then if you four thousand dollars, you don't win. Then you just put eight thousand dollars on. Easy. Yeah, yeah. And then they, then you look at the you look at the exponential growth, and you're like, oh, I, I've lost a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> and and uh, I didn't bring a hundred thousand dollars. How did they let me do this? Yeah. Oh, so they can break my legs later. Interesting. I got a friend who uh, barred himself from a different friend. My brother was telling me about this. This guy oh, yeah. that I know. No, I know who the, I already know who this is. Yeah, he yep. barred himself from the casino again in probably like the mid two thousands. Uh huh. Um, because he was he didn't have like an incredible gambling problem, but he was just like, I do this too much, and I and I quit. This uh-huh, is Crown yeah. Casino. And then he didn't go back for years. Yeah. And then earlier this year, yeah. so probably 15 years later, maybe more, uh-huh. he went in and they were on him like immediately. <gasps> like that, the facial scan technology yeah, right. or whatever. They like, and you have to go through this thing where I think you have to go through some therapy and get a wow. doctor's. No, I can't remember. But there's this process that you got to do where you got to get out of it, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was really surprised that they like. Okay. And because he's bald now, but I guess it doesn't take. <laughs> right. You know, it's yeah, not. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. It doesn't register hair, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Or it factors it in based on your age. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Um, that's that's amazing. So, well, I. This th- is a little person fall, by the way. You're going to see it. Oh, no. Yeah. I don't want to. No, you have to. Huh. Good stuff. That, that actually looked pretty convincing. Yeah. Looked like a. Actually, it was him. I, I guess I'd always wondered about that because it's like, you know, where it's like, oh, you buy yourself from the casino. Well, couldn't you just unbuy yourself on a, yeah. on a day you really wanted to gamble? No, but I guess if you a, have to follow all this stuff, okay. I'm sure the casino doesn't care, but like there mm. would be government. There would be government. Something. There'd lousy be, government. They'd come in, they'd tell you what to do. Oh, lousy government. And they'd come bloody, to your house. Bloody and nanny state, lousy yeah. government. Oh, got to wear your seatbelt. Oh, oh you gotta, put your number plates on. Oh, you got to, can't, can't drive through a red light. Boo, oh. I'm with the government. <laughs> we're your mum. You know? <laughs> you hate your mum and we're your mum. <laughs> Ooh, I hate you then. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Uh. Oh, this is a good looking movie though. I agree. Like that's some great, like that's. Looks real. I mean, it does look real. Oh, do you like, remember those remote control cars, but it was attached by a wire? Yes. Yeah, Dreadful. Right, yeah. Dreadful. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Now, are they, are they already the wet bandits? I think they're, I think he's. Or they he were the wet them. bandits in the sequel. No, they're the sticky bandits in the sequel. Okay, right. Yeah. Okay. For reasons you because are not going to like. They rob the place and then they. Then they leave the taps it, on. Leave the taps on so that all the evidence is, yeah. is washed away. Okay. Well, no, because it's like a calling card. Oh, okay, and then right. at the end, the police are like, and now we know which houses you hit. But it's like all the houses in the street. Yeah, right. Like, yeah. Obviously. You just did them in order, it seems, because <laughs> everyone, all, all the ones where there was nobody there, because they all went to France. All the <laughs> giant families went to France, I guess. But God, can you imagine organi- even even just organizing my very small extended family to go on a big family holiday? 
horrifying. And if you've ever organised a small group of people to do anything, it's yeah. a nightmare. It is, it's true. You're in a group chat and some mm. people aren't responding. Yeah, and you're, and you're like, like hey, can you alive? send me the money? Are you still in? And they're like, yep. <laughs> I'll send it next week. And you don't hear from and them? And then you're like, but we've got to buy the tickets next week. And they're like, well, I'll give it to you on Friday. And you're like, well, I have to buy the tickets on Wednesday. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. Uh, if it was approved by the American Dental Association to be on the box, idiot. <laughs> idiot. He's, is, isn't he embarrassed? Yeah, he should be embarrassed. <laughs> He's yeah. so embarrassed. Very embarrassed. Apparently he was very mature. Like Joe Pesci was like, this guy's like a man. It's like a oh, man. Right, He's okay, a boy. Because yeah. when I was nine, I couldn't do anything. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I still can't. <laughs> yeah. I barely managed to hit record on this. Mm. Did you? No. Mm. Oh, no. We're just doing it in the spirit of Christmas. Yeah. Now, he's a guy. I mean, he's sure. Yeah. He looks like Michael Rosenbaum, but oh. he's not. Do you wish it was Michael Rosenbaum? No. No? You happy no. with this guy getting a shot? Yeah, I think that's yeah. cool. Yeah. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Do you find that guy terrifying? No. I think Even he's though not. he's doing a big bug-eyed stare, I bet he. I bet I found him terrifying at back in the day. You know, he's a nice guy. Why are you looking like that? Also, because it turns out he's nice. Yeah, but like, yeah, what yeah. is this? Why don't you be nice? Yeah, is, is the question there. You know, stop doing that. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> why are you like that? Ooh, he's a guy. Yeah, he's a guy. He looks like Buzz, but he's not Buzz. He's a different no. guy. See, that's some forever hair. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's a haircut you could wear any year. That's exactly right. <laughs> that's what we love about it. Yeah. Is that, co that, is it yeah, that cop's going to Get everybody him? in the town involved in still in this. You this rat. Tooth. Yeah. Your kid's an absolute rat. Just let him go with a toothbrush. Man, I, I could. I mean, this guy. As if <laughs> oh, you could outrun this cop. I mean, anybody could outrun this guy. Yeah, right. With these tight pants. Mm. Can't even run in those tight pants. What if pants. this ended with. Uh, Kevin McAllister nearly getting away and the cop just draws his gun and fires a one shot into his back. And, he and it's like... <laughs> he's on the other cops on the ground. He's like, bang, bang. <laughs> that's a, I, there's, I, I bet that's already been done. I bet that's on YouTube. It probably is. Yeah. yeah. God, imagine lining up a train and then you get the shot. Oh, It's real. Oh, my God. Do you have to get permission hey, that, to film a train? Uh, great question. Mm. I, yep. <laughs> you do? Yep, yep. Okay. You do, from the train. From the train. Yeah. You know that guy who's on like Instagram and whatever and he loves trains? Francois Bourgeois. Is that his name? Saying? I think so. Something and he's like really, that. And he has that. I don't know if that's his real he name. He has that camera. That that's he sticks like, on his face. Yeah. 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 Love mm -hmm. that. Unless yeah. he's cancelled, in which case I didn't like no, him. No, I think he's, um, I think he's, he's, he's on just the, doing wholesome train stuff. Yeah, he's on the level, that guy. He's I having think. the time yeah. of his life. And he's all got trains. like all sorts of sponsors and stuff. Like Good he's on all, him. he's sponsored by like Gucci and stuff. Oh my God. He's sold out then. I didn't know that. No, no. I didn't know that, Mason. too bad. Must be nice. Must be nice. Why can't I get sponsored by Gucci? Because you don't have 2.2 million followers on Instagram. Instagram. You got to think about it this way. Yes. Wouldn't I like that money? Yeah, I would also <laughs> like that. I wonder if we can get it done. Maybe we should contact France. Yeah, we'll see what he says. Francois Bourgeois. That's his name, apparently. All right, that's there cool. Go, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, France is close to England, yeah. apparently. Yeah, there wearing, you go, wet bandits. He's, he's wearing he's wearing a Loro Piana sweater. That's not that's not small change. He's that's looking. Not, it's a spino hot. sweater. He's looking. That's slick. what I'm saying. He's also got like. He's got that look of like, because he's quite tall and thin. Yeah. And he's got the look, I think, of like, oh, he can like wear a anything. European model yeah, kind man. of look, where it's like, you, you, if you get him to stop smiling for a second, he's just like, Ugh. like he could look like a European <laughs> model. Like, Ugh. <laughs> Do you reckon they reverse that? No, I reckon they did it Mission Impossible 2 style, <laughs> like with the knife, with the <laughs> yeah, Tom Cruise okay. knife. And they put the truck on a wire and it had to stop an inch before Macaulay Culkin's face. And that's how they. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think so. People know that? People know that fact? People know that fact. Oh, we've got a video on Mission Impossible 2 if anyone would like to check it out. And then you're going to know that fact, but in a video. That's right. Run Macaulay Culkin. That's Joe Pesci. He's, <laughs> a, psych he's a big psycho. Well, he's a little psycho. Yeah. But he's, he's got a big psycho personality. Yeah, yeah. He's got BPS. No. BP. What is it? E? BPS. Oh, no, I'm going to stop. <laughs> We're not doing that joke anymore. I've decided. <laughs> okay, right. That's terrific. <laughs> I couldn't think of it quick enough. I'm cancelling it. Also, BPE is probably a real psychological disorder. <laughs> it's like probably. bipolar something or other. Um, bipolar experience? Bipolar experience. Bipolar Express. I love that. We did that last That's year. That was sequel. our commentary. That would be the sequel to the Polar Express. <laughs> bipolar Express. 
I mean, you would be bipolar after that You'd experience. You'd be traumatized. Because you'd be like, did that happen? Yeah. Was that real? No, of course it didn't happen. You're going to have to was go to Was everybody Tom Hanks? Did that happen? No, <laughs> there's only one Tom Hanks and he's mean. You've never met him. <laughs> Let me ask you this. I've, I've heard this a number of times from various podcasts and places. Sure. I've heard people say, Tom Cruise must be mean because how could you how could you... Stay, be in Hollywood for that long and be that like famous and I'm, not be like a mean guy. You could still be weird. Yeah. I don't know. True. What do you think? Do you think he's no, mean? No, I think he's I think he's like I think he also doesn't have normal people come up to him. I think he's nice in the scenarios where, you know, right. cuz he's constantly handled cuz he'd have to be. Like he couldn't just do anything. That's you know? true, yeah. So like no, if someone's right. coming up to him, it would be in a very controlled situation. Like at the Oscars or something. Yeah, yeah. whatever. So yeah, like yeah. he would be nice. Apparently he signs autographs for hours and whatever. Yeah, right. He's also a Scientologist. There's some real Tom, weird stuff. Tom Hanks, is he? Oh, Tom Hanks? Yes. I'm talking about, you said Tom Cruise. Did I? I meant yeah. Tom Hanks. Oh, I don't know if Tom Hanks. I mean, he seems nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But isn't he all, I think he's also one of those people think he's in the Illuminati with Hillary oh, Clinton of kind of do, situations. Yeah. I think he'd be quite... I think he'd be, like, depending on the day. But I think also, like Tom Cruise, he's probably one of those guys that can't go shopping for himself because he'd be mobbed. I think more so he could. Yeah, I think more so he yeah. could, you're right. Because yeah. he he's kind of an oldish man now. And, That's you know, true, yeah. But there is that video of that, like, his wife getting shoved at, like, an airport. Oh, yeah, that'll do or it. Or whatever. Yeah. And, he, and he, like, and he snaps, and rightly so. Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah. But I'm thinking, I, I get the vibe that, generally speaking, he is quite a nice man. Yeah, well, he seems uh, nice. Unless he isn't, in which case he's cancelled. We cancelled That's right, him. we cancelled. We never liked him. Who's your favourite Hanks? Tom Hanks? Chet Hanks. Chet Hanks. Other Hanks. The other one. I like that one. <laughs> the third Colin one. Hanks? Colin Hanks. Yeah. Do you like Colin Hay? Lead yeah. singer of Men at Work. Of course I do. I met him once. Exactly. We're going to get copyright struck for that. Oh, no. Which is the whole thing. You yeah, know, well, they got hit that. for that. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Um, you met him? Yeah, I went to a gig. I went to a Colin What Hay was he gig like? Once. With our friend Emily. When ah. The time. Did he say, I can't get to sleep? Uh, he did sing that one, yeah. Something, yeah, 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 explanation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at a young Michael Jordan. We've got a photo with him. I'll track it down. Me and He'll you? I wasn't there. No, not you. How long does he reckon he does this for? Uh, four hours? Yeah, at least four hours. Yeah, he's right. got a touch of the Francois Bourgeois about him. He certainly does, he doesn't really he? really focus on this for a long time. Yeah. How many mannequins you got in your house? Zero mannequins. Yeah, you got, you got zero mannequins. How many mannequins do you have in your house? I've not seen one. I'm not one. telling you anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the question. Before we got into Tom, Tom Hanks, Tom Cruise territory, yeah. when do you think the last time Macaulay Culkin hung out with either of those two guys? Never. You really reckon they, never? Apparently they, he still speaks with Catherine O'Hara. Oh, still, yeah. well, that's because they got their stars together. He still yeah. calls her mum, apparently. Okay. Or mom. Mom. Americans. Mom. Le mom. Le he would mom. say due to his experience in France. Yeah. It's that guy. I don't even want to put there. Jimmy Stewart. I'm a Why yeah. ha! 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 I don't even like Christmas. It's Christmas already. I didn't even read about it. <laughs> I could be in movies. Why would you have read about it, Mr. Stewart? <laughs> I want to be in the newspaper. <laughs> I mean, I guess there might have been some Christmas articles in the newspaper. I know, so. Are you okay, Mr. Stewart? <laughs> but never. <laughs> Let's give you a nice little sit down, Mr. Stewart. You sit down. I'll you sit down. I'll put you down like a dog. <laughs> I'll also sit down. I'll sit down first, Mr. Stewart. Oh, you like also sit down? Yes. I don't want to sit down. Okay, I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to go. Are we on the phone? <laughs> no, he's in the house. I'm oh. Like... <laughs> oh, dear. We could be acting. Yeah, you could, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we, lo we love that Jimmy Stewart. Certainly do. Yeah. Still with us? No. Almost certainly not. Absolutely not. He's not, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. These new kids. I recognise that one. Yeah. That one I recognise. That one's buzz. God, that was a haircut though, wasn't it, of the era? Same normal. Yeah. He was also on The Worst Kids. Is that just me? What do you mean? But like, oh, I was on The Worst Kids. It was on The yeah. Worst Kids. Well, like that, the th burliest... Worst kids. Was that the, was, is that also the haircut that Biff has in some of the... It's similar, yeah. Some it's of the Back dissimilar. to the Futures? Yeah. God, it's quite the look, though, isn't it? You better believe it. Yeah. I don't do that. What the hell kind of car is that? And why does he always do that? What's wrong with this guy? Because he How loves it. How can you it. never see it? Oh, he's knocking that thing over. I mean, it's a great running gag. It's maybe the best running gag even in all of cinema. It's nearly as good as that gag, uh, Back to the Future, where it's Twin Pines Mall. This is oh, yeah. this is more of an Easter egg. <laughs> That's right. And then when he runs over the one of the pines in the past, yeah, 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 yeah it becomes yeah. single blown pine mall. One one mall, one pine. Blown pine mall. Blown pine mall. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, that's crazy. Yeah. You blow my mind there. Oh, you know. That's why it's called blown pine mall, I guess. <laughs>
Uh, do you reckon this kicked off any kind of prank calling situation? Yes, absolutely. It wouldn't have been the first though, right? This probably inspired the jerky yeah. boys this was, to get so jerky. This was hard to do. Now you could just do it. Yeah, absolutely. With like an yeah. AI generator and type it in or whatever. Oh, uh-huh, yeah, But yeah. like this was, if you wanted to do this prank in the past, yeah, yeah. you really had to be prepared. $12, is that enough for a pizza? We paid 122 earlier for like nine pizzas. Oh, yeah. So I don't know. Okay. Mm. Wow. Wow. God damn. Wow. Wow. This is just a prank though, Mason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is playing the video yeah, machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. I would have simply adopted a slightly deeper voice and said, thank you for sending the pizzas. Yeah, you could just literally like open the door and go, here's the money. I'm and a like, kid. I'm a kid. My dad's here. Yeah. But... Don't oh, no, in. no. In the, in the state of Chicago, children can't handle money. Oh. It's against the law. You go to okay. jail. They'll throw you in kid jail. <laughs> Which is regular jail. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> anyway, this kid, this kid lives in fear that... Uh, you can never go back here. Well, yeah, because that guy just started firing a machine gun indiscriminately inside <laughs> his own house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want to go back to that. No. Wouldn't he be worried to call the police? It's a good point. I would call the police if yeah. somebody fired a machine gun at me, probably. Yeah. <laughs> it's in my opinion. Wow. IMO. Wow. Yeah. You know. Narc. You're a narc. <laughs> yeah, I am. Wow. I don't care. Wow. I love the law. I love all its rules. I love adhering to them. Hmm. What do you love about the law? Don't say nothing, because I will knock on you. Nothing. <laughs> oh, no. That's right. This Wilford Brimley looking guy. Yeah. Mm. That's right. What's a pocket translator look like in this era? a good point because it might be like a little calculator Calculate thing your and you put the in. words in but maybe it's just but a it wouldn't book. it could be just a book, <laughs> could be a book. but it wouldn't speak would it no i don't think so it'd yeah. beep certainly it'd meep and moop do you think like what a wild era where it's like give me a ticket yeah okay oh, you can just walk in with <laughs> it just yeah go in with it that's crazy now yeah. you gotta have your phone and your names on your phone oh my your god names on your phone it's it says on, it my says, name's not on my phone right now will i get into you'll trouble you'll go you're going to jail okay yeah Oh, here we go. This guy. Yeah. He's classic, isn't he? Yes. In Australia, we had Steve Visard. We did have Steve Visard. That's true. <laughs> and Rove McManus. That's true. Yeah. But I mean, of this era. Of this era, It was yeah, Steve Visard, Daryl Summers. There is no way we have not talked about Steve Visard in one of these commentaries before. We absolutely have. I don't know, man. It was just the like, David Letterman set, but reversed. It was, yeah. yeah. Didn't you get into trouble for it? No. We have talked about it, haven't we? He, nobody got in trouble. He might have got in trouble for like not him specifically, but like stealing monologues or something. Oh. That used to happen in Australia because yeah. you could steal something from overseas because it would never air here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Very cool. Which I think is cool. I think it's cool. Content uh, theft. Even though H Bomber guy says it isn't, it's actually cool and you can get away with it. <laughs> That's right. You can just do it. You can just do it. Yeah. We've stolen all this from the official Home Alone commentary. <laughs> I'm playing Macaulay Culkin and you're playing Catherine O'Hara. I did in watching that H Bomber guy video. I'm like, have I done this by accident? Like, have I ever like accidentally plagiarized? You done something? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it all probably. Sinks in. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Anyway, um, that's just my uh, just hand wave away. If anyone accuses me, I'll be like, well, it was an accident, probably. Mm. Yeah. Fortunately, I can't string more than about five words together. <laughs> it's so. a thing. That's just the famous slappy face, and he's got a. Spider is also there, <laughs> and and the oh. famous slappy face, and then you s- they cut to the spider. Spider there. What is that back room fridge situation present? Did well, you see? Uh, yeah, it might be the, the maybe that's the the um the official. Yep, it's the official. It's the official. Yeah, it's a big jug of milk for a little boy. Get some chocolate milk. Yeah, the chocolate yourself. milk. That, what a missed opportunity. Yeah, to not get the chocolate milk. <laughs> it's weird that like, I don't think they would ever ask you. Like as a kid doing this? No, absolutely not. Yeah. They'd get, oh, I reckon they might be like, they might be like, is your mum coming yeah. to pay for this afterwards? Do you have the money? Yeah. And then, but if you put it all through and gave them the money, they'd they be like, care. whatever. Also like, they don't get paid enough to deal with this. Right, exactly. They don't know Joe Pesci's after him. They don't know that. Yeah, that's right. They be. don't know. I mean, if they did know, they might say something. Mm. Or he'd say nothing because it's scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. scary little guy beat you up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. That's funny. Nice. He's a good. He's actually yeah. really good. He's good in this. He's really good. Oh, Tropicana, barely any juice in it. It's just, <laughs> yeah. just, just sugar, sugar and dye. Oh my god! Yes, please. <laughs> Orange dye. Yeah. Nineteen eighty-three. <laughs> oh my god! For all that, my god! <laughs> and the army man. Ah! <laughs> it's destroyed my brain. 
<laughs> even factoring in inflation, it's still crazy. And the, tr- and the, the, the it's crazy the conversion to Australian dollars. Yeah. I did oh a, my god! I bought like soap and shampoo the other day. Yeah. It was like thirty dollars. I did a big shop the other week, and you know when you do like the big shop. Yeah, the big shop. It was like three hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it was like, it wasn't like if you look at it, it's just like a trolley full of stuff. It yeah. was, and we know that like in Australia as well, like we know this, like all the companies have like jacked up their prices. Uh huh. There's nothing in. Look at that. Look how light look it is. Look at that. It's like nineteen dollars worth of oh, stuff. Oh well, that's that's showing you up, hasn't it? It's yeah. all falling. Look, out. the milk's already banged up. They'd already done that. Wow. And that's fun. Wow. A oh, little little plug for Tide there. Tide pods. Oh, that's probably eat them, drink them, whatever you want. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Stick your head in the machine. Yep. Do a big gargle. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look at this guy figuring out washing. I couldn't have done this. Mm. Though my thing at this age was hanging out washing. It was one of my jobs. Sure. Yeah, washing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I never do that. I will use the dryer every time. I don't care if the planet burns down. I'm never going to stop. <laughs> is that why your uh, all your t-shirts are impossibly tight? That's it's right. Shrunk in the exactly. Dryer? No, it's because right. I'm getting bigger. Okay. Because I'm bigger. Yeah. I'm always, I was having more my creatine. Mm, sure, sure. That okay. I constantly eat. Okay. And put in with my clothes. Okay. It's not the fact that you're shopping at Baby Gap for all your t-shirts. I only shop there for the tight t-shirts. <laughs> I'd forgotten about the haunted furnace or whatever it is. It was in it earlier. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, I'd forgotten since then. <laughs> And also, I wasn't paying attention then. I was trying to think of that story about the guy from Planes, That's true. Trans, you Auto you were on your phone for 20 minutes. I was on my phone for a out. really long time, <laughs> honestly. And it was good. Yeah. <laughs> my favourite times in life are when I'm on my phone for a long time. It is good, isn't it? Oh, my God. It's so good. Except at night. Well, look at these guys not on their phones. Just sitting. Just just <laughs> drinking <laughs> in life and friendship. I think that's beautiful, actually. Is it? Yeah, that's right. I don't know if I'd want to sit with Joe Pesci for that long. I feel like mm. he'd glass me. He might, yeah. Yeah. But then if you're on your phone, you might be like, what are you doing? What are you looking at your phone? You think your phone's more interesting than me? Give Quite me frankly, that. yes, Joe Pesci. <laughs> I can even look at photos of Joe Pesci on my phone. Young Joe Pesci. Young Joe Pesci. <laughs> I can look at red carpet Joe Pesci. He's got a nice tie on, you know? Yeah. What do you look at you? You look awful. <laughs> your dirty old coat. <laughs> no? Oh, man. Yeah. He's always got ready to go. Mm. That's smart. I don't know why these guys are so bent on You're this house. You're obsessed with this house. Just You'd go. move on. I don't. I don't understand. Were I a a, a home burglar, yeah, I'd be like any difficulty at all. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. God, this is a good idea for a movie. And sure, it's sort of just Die Hard with a boy. Sure. <laughs> that's um, what I love about it. That's right. Yeah. It's not just that. Uh, one of the things that Chris Columbus put in this, director of some of the Harry Potter movies also, oh, yes. was like the original John Hughes script was more like hum- like it was all humour. But he loved Christmas and he added like the heart. Oh, He was like, okay. let's do some Christmas shit in this. Like right, family right. stuff mm. or whatever, you know? Yeah. Oh, man, that pot would just be minced. <laughs> sure would. Oh, my God. Ruined. Oh, no, that guy's firing a machine gun in his house again. This guy. Yeah. These guys should call the cops. They should call the cops, shouldn't they? Yeah. Yeah. They should call the cops and say, hey, we're going to rob this house. You want in on this? <laughs> and depending on the cop, they might say yes. Yeah, absolutely. We'd yeah, love, we'd love that, that, actually. That actually. Yeah. Mm. That's great stuff. It is great stuff, I think. Yeah. I mean, you already did it earlier. Yeah, he did. But this time he? he did the, the firecrackers. Yeah, that's, and that's true, fun. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. He'd be like, he'd be like, a murder happened in this house. We shouldn't go in the house because maybe we'd get, we'd get hit for the murder, you know? Yeah, you don't want that. No, no, no. Yeah. You'd think they'd probably get hit for the murder anyway if there really was a murder because they did the whole street. Yeah. They probably would have gotten... So Macaulay Culkin could do a murder. That's true. And, and he like, could be like... These men did it. The men did it, yeah. <laughs> these men these men tried to... Who robbed all the other houses, they tried to rob my house and I think they got into an argument and they shot each other in the back of the head a bunch of times. <laughs> and that's why they're dead in yeah. my house. The police would be like, well, seems normal. And they didn't turn the taps on. That's true. Which is a thing they normally do, but normally they didn't do. do this time. They said, <laughs> normally we would, but we're too busy shooting each other in the back of the head. <laughs> Officer. They took it in turns to shoot <laughs> each other in the back of the head. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you could just get a flight, right? What do you mean? Like, they're talking about flights full of whatever. I just reckon you could just Where's she now? Is she in Europe or is she No, in she's back in America, but okay. she's got to go across the country or oh, interstate yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And guess who's in the background? It's Jonathan Ken. Candy, John Candy. Died at 40. Yeah. Yeah, I like John Candy. I think that's sad. Look, Mason, I'm I'm, I'm inclined to agree with you on Thanks, this one. Man. Yeah, I don't Appreciate like it. it. I don't like mm. agreeing with you on anything. That's right. The death of John Candy, that was sad. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. 
Is he, nice. he in this? Does he get a speaking role? Is he yeah, no, they have a conversation. Oh, Apparently, okay. he worked for like one day and it was all like improv. Did he get like $51,000 yeah, yeah. a day? That's yeah, great. Absolutely, he did. He probably did, actually. Yeah. <laughs> probably more so. Because, <laughs> yeah, John Hughes did Planes, Trains or whatever. Yeah. Not I've got a story trains. about that. Did he? Actually, yeah. No, oh, God. <laughs> no, not Planes, Trains. He did uh, Uncle, Uncle Buck, Buck yeah. which also has Macaulay Culkin. Was it John Hughes who did that? I don't know. One of them did it. They're all connected. <laughs> yeah. All these movies are connected. That's right. They're in a they're in a they're in a shared universe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, the guy from um, the Avengers is also he's an alien. Joss Whedon. No, he's an alien. James Cameron. No, he's an alien. He's the old guy. He's got a trucker hat. An alien. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. It was directed by John Hughes' Uncle Buck. Mm. Yeah, he's this dude, an alien. Keep showing me that photo. But Look at the bottom one. It's alien. That is alien. You don't know anything about alien. I think I'm wrong. Or alien versus I think you've got the wrong photo rim. there. I reckon that guy is in Avengers. No, you're going to eat your words. And then I'm going to be upset. Yeah. Because I just wish you would do better. You know? <laughs> yeah, sure. I feel bad for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I have yeah. to carry you through these commentaries with my knowledge. <laughs> you look like an idiot. <laughs> I know. And people know. That's my bit. That's my whole bit. <laughs> it's not a bit. Harry Dean Stanton. All right. His name's not Harry Dean Stanton. They, that, that was not Harry Dean Stanton in this movie, is my point. Harry Dean Stanton, home alone. Home alone. We're home alone. We're gonna be alone Own. in this home. You ever seen that movie? The no. New Home Alone reboot? No, I no. haven't. It's, it's the, the musical song. version. It's the song they sing. Okay, it? right. Well. Yeah. Mm. Well, let me tell you this, James. He wasn't in Home Alone. I know. <laughs> Really interesting. <laughs> it's really interesting. <laughs> that is interesting. It's interesting when someone is or did something. Isn't but I it? think, I think it's undeniable <laughs> that, that what I said was correct. That he could have been. He was certainly alive. You didn't and in say the he era. could have been. You said he was. I'm saying it now. <laughs> I'm saying it now. It is possible that he could have been. You've taken my words out of context. He could have been in this area. Yeah, he could time, have been. But he was certainly in the Avengers. Could have been in. Yeah, he could have been in the zip code. He was in the movie Inland Empire. Oh, my God. He was in Rango. I never saw Rango. He was in The Green Mile. Oh, yeah. He was in Down Periscope and Fire Down Below. He that just loved getting down. Down Periscope was another movie we watched at the fire station on projector. Love that. Kelsey Grammer's Down Periscope. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. All righty. All righty. Here we go. I feel like Shit's Creek just ended. And I was like, aren't you going to... Where's this ending? <laughs> sure, absolutely. This could have kept going for a bit, I feel. i be honest with you, I, haven't, I didn't finish the last season, so no? I don't know what happened to him. Wow. I think it got better when they, they all stopped. all fell in that creek. Like, the, the, first, the first... Less buffoonery? S- well, no, the first season sort of was like, how are they going to get their fortune back kind yeah. of thing? And I think when they sort of abandon that, they're just like, they're sort of snooty people. That who, just live here. They just live here, and that's fine. Yeah. Like, I think it got better when... Yeah, more of the human drama. But they didn't get rich again at the end of the yeah. series or anything. That's She's in, um, what's her name? The actor in that. The sister. Catherine O'Hara. No, no, the sister in it. Oh, she, she's in Black Mirror. She's an episode of Black she's Mirror. She's in Black Mirror, but she's got this other sitcom where she's got this buffoon sitcom husband. Oh, and yeah. And when he's in the room, it's like a sitcom, but when he leaves, the reality of the life that she lives is like a yeah. second-tier character it's got like to a that rude guy. Na- it's, does it have a rude name? It's, it's, it's like, fuck this guy or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I'll find out so Please people do. can watch it. Um, I've only seen the first season, but there is... Okay. Two seasons and it's... Okay. Yeah. Annie Murphy is her name. Yes. And she is in many things. Oh, Kevin can fuck himself. There it is. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's like, because he's like a Kevin James kind of like guy. Mm. and But the reality of living with a guy who's like, I'm cooking a turkey on the roof or whatever. Yeah, right, right. Is like he said the name of the movie. Did he? He's Home Alone. He said, I can't wait till he's Home Alone 2, Lost That's in right. New York. That's right. We'll get him then if we don't get him now. Yeah. I, I reckon they probably... Uh, they probably weren't sure of the name of the movie yet, so they just got Pesci to riff a bunch of stuff like, we're going to kill this kid. <laughs> well, apparently they did. He did riff a lot of this and, like, they had to re- he does a lot of... Like, yeah, yeah. that kind of muttering because he just would swear. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. You know what I would do? What would if you do? If I were this kid. You'd kill him. I'd kill him. Because you would get away with it. But what I would probably do, because he just said, we're going to rob the place at nine, mm. I'd just leave. Yeah, and I'd come back at ten, and they'd be gone. No, but he's like, "This is my house, and I yeah, have to I know, defend it." But it's not worth being killed by the wet. Kids bandits. don't know that because they're dumb. Right? Okay. They're like, "I want to be killed." Budget with a budget, rent duck, a truck. Duck. It's quick and cheap, and it, uh, it's, it's a truck. It's a truck, and you suck. <laughs> Excuse me. We hate we said you. what we said, yeah. and we didn't stutter. What are you deaf? Give me your credit card. 
<laughs> and you don't get a truck. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, oh, is that your favorite? Uh, is that your favorite local jingle? Yeah, probably. Okay, mine is. I just thought about this the other day. <laughs> okay, go on. There's, a, there's, a, there used to. I don't know if they're still around, but it was a, it was a, um, it was a company called Monbulk. And they used to. Mon- they Mon- did. They, let me get to it. I do they, used, they, they would sell jams and preserves I and so remember. forth. And, and a marmalade, and, perhaps. And the, and the jingle went, Mon Bulk, more than a jar of fruit. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't. That's all it was. I mean, it probably had other additives. That's what they meant. Oh, I see, right. It had sugar. Yeah, it had sugar. Yeah. Are you checking to see if Mon Bulk is still around? <laughs> I want to play it. There we go. Ooh, big riff. I remember this. This is burnt in my brain. Are we going to get demonetized? By Mon Bulk. Yeah, by Mon Bulk. <laughs> we'll clip it. We'll clip it. He'll throw the whole thing out. Yeah. God, it goes on a bit, doesn't it? More, More like, like a, a jar, jar of fruit. fruit. Oh my god! <laughs> you misremembered. This is our Mandela effect, James. I reckon there's a different one. I bet there's a different one. There is a I'm different right. one. I'm, let's not. I blind. believe. No. How about I'll listen to it with headphones, okay, and if right. I can find it, I'll play it. All right. You know what I liked about that? It started with a big <laughs> guitar strum, like the start of the Beatles' Hard Day song. <laughs> Bring <Bang>. Mon Bulk. <laughs> Hashtag Mon Bulk. Oh, if you've gotten this far, hashtag more than a jar of fruit. This is the same one. Mm. I can't believe you've made me look like such a fool, James. This one says at the end, the fruit you see is the fruit you taste. That's not what we're just trying stuff out, weren't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well. This one says 100% real fruit taste. Oh, these are then Okay, no wonder they went out of business. Also, if it was 100% real fruit taste. Yeah. You wouldn't want that you know, no. on a spread. Yeah, no, you're right. I feel. Wow, well, look. No wonder they went out of business. They didn't know what the heck they were doing, unless they're still around, in which case, good on them. Mate, I don't know. I think you've got, you've mandela yourself. Oh, my God. I can't believe I did that. Yeah. Anyway, if anyone can find it. <laughs> <laughs> there are any researchers out there? Oh. You know? I like my version better. Also, it's not a jam. It's a conserve. Mm, sure. Which means it's like... Oh, it's not. It's not mostly, real. It's okay, right. It's like okay. mostly sugar. Yeah, and yeah, right. like orange peel or whatever. Oh, yeah, which is marmalade, I guess. Yeah. It mm. can be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's sad because that's other families. They're having a time. They're having a time. He's not aren't having they? a time, is he? He's having a bad time. Where do you reckon that baby is now? Criminal. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. Sorry to bring it up. Or an executive. Yeah. Maybe a Hollywood executive. Could be both. They, they, he's. Um, he could just walk in and go, my family's something. Yeah. I'm getting robbed. Yeah. I'm getting robbed. I'm getting robbed. I'm getting robbed. I'm getting robbed. Like if he's having to wander around, yeah. just wander around till 10, come back. Yeah. And say, I was out and I'm being robbed <laughs> to the police. You know? Or just kill him. Warfare. <laughs> oh, yeah, open warfare against two old men. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Who were 25 at the time, probably. Exactly. Oh, that's good stuff. As in the snow. It's probably fake and it looks terrific. No, John Hughes would insist on real snow. No. He would I, have shipped this I entire... I did read a thing about He would have shipped this entire thing to another state. No, I think he learned his lesson from uh, that previous movie. Okay. Whatever that was that you said. Those are bad, 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 bad. Man, that's a big choir for nobody going. That's true, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, show must go on. Why is she only looking at that side? What's the other mm. side supposed to be doing? That's a good point. You don't know how to conduct a choir. What do you... Ra- if, if, if you work at a movie theatre... If... I wish. Uh, yeah, right. So, no, I did too. always want to work at a movie Yeah, theater. same. Uh, but if nobody shows up... If anyone's got any positions available. If nobody shows up for them, like if nobody buys a ticket for the movie, do they still run it? I think they do. Mm-hmm. I think they have to because it's something to do with something and I can't remember what. Yeah, right, 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 right. Because I guess because the, 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 the company that made the movie probably paid for all the... Yeah. They probably paid for all the sessions. They have to run it just in case. And I reckon they'd probably also factor in there are probably people who are buying a ticket for one thing and they're going to Go another on the other thing. thing. you got to factor that and in, And it'd be mate. too complicated and, people, and somebody would come up to the counter and be like, excuse me, I didn't... I don't understand. They're not playing the movie. I don't understand anything. Exactly, yeah. 
That's right. Excuse me. You'd have to deal with the people that don't understand anything. I don't understand anything. I actually I'd like you to explain anything. it to me, but I'm not going to listen. That's right. Meh. <laughs> 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 Give me my money back and more money on top of that. <laughs> this is my job. I'm going to leave you a bad Yelp review. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please don't. I love that when people get mad at like employees yeah. and like, well, I'm never coming back here. Yeah. Great, good. Great. So I'll never have to deal with you ever again. That's <laughs> right. Okay, great. Then if I can see you in the street, I can punch you. <laughs> That's right. What are you going to do? Complain to my boss? <laughs> He's not here. Uh, do you trust that guy? Yeah, implicitly. Okay, cool. Because he's the janitor in Avengers. That's right. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Does he he's know any of these ja- kids? No, because he's had a falling out with his... Son, and so he's going to see his granddaughter soon. No, I'm saying, does Macaulay Culkin know any of these kids? Oh, no, he's just gone to the church to love God. He doesn't know any of the kids, like, from school? He's just looking for what's but going what on. What I'm saying is he can just go to any of those kids and go, hey, you know what, my parents are He out. goes to a public school. All those kids go to a Catholic school, Mason. Oh, good point. They'd or beat Protestant him, or something. They'd beat him up, wouldn't they? They'd crucify yeah. him for Christmas. Here's a question. If his granddaughter's singing in the thing, yeah. and he hasn't been talking to his son because mm-hmm. they're estranged, yes. where... How Where's the, the sun? Where's Where the sun? is he? Why isn't he here at the church of singing songs? That's a great point. You know? And, we, uh, and also, nobody genuflected, that's which a is good what point. you do when you enter a pew. Mm. This yep. movie isn't true to whatever religion this is. Catholicism, well, John Hughes maybe. was a Satanist, <laughs> as we <laughs> know, know so he didn't know any of the details oh, okay. there. But I shouldn't Google that. He this didn't know real. the deets. Yeah, no. that's right. But isn't if you're a Satanist, the point is that you do know the deets, so you can do the opposite? Be like I'm doing the opposite of a genuine. Well, he was a lapsed Satanist. He oh, he lapsed. He didn't, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. It's just a regular guy. <laughs> just a regular dumb guy. <laughs> That's a shame. Yeah. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. My God. My God. Anyway, do you think this is? A, I feel like this is an old guy. He should have like died. <laughs> I'm sure he's definitely has died. Okay. What's he in though? Like, was he in a bunch of movies in the 50s oh, or whatever? Oh, it's a good point. He was on like Cowboy Town, the show or whatever. Yeah. Right. There are too many cowboys in this town. <laughs> Or not enough. <laughs> I mean, it's called Cowboy Town. You think it'd be filled with cowboys, but there's like four cowboys. Larry Hankin is the name of the guy, by okay, the way. Okay, okay. His name's Roberts. His name's Roberts Blossom. That's his real name. Yep. Okay. He died in 2011. Okay. All right. Born in 1924. Okay. Oh, good innings. Pretty good. Uh, he was 87 when he died. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Pretty good. He was in Escape from Alcatraz. Huh. He was in a movie called Deranged in 1974. All right. Yeah. God, he lived ages. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, does, that make, does that make you mad? Yeah, I'm mad at him. <laughs> yeah, there you go. He was in Slaughterhouse Five. Oh, he was in The he? Great Gatsby, 1974. Well, he that's played, the Robert Redford one. He played Mr. Gats. Nice. Not Great Gatsby, he played Mr. Mr. Gats. Gats. There you go. He was the guy with the two gats. Yeah. He was always busting in, like in the parties, and he's like, I'm Mr. Gats, and I'm here to blow this place away. Oh, my God, you're going to love this, Mason. This is a metaphor for um, whatever era we're in. Do you ever see the movie Flashpoint? No, what's that? With Chris Christopherson and Treat Williams and Rip Torn. Oh, Treat Williams passed away. Did you know that? No, I didn't know it that. Was this year, I think. Oh, no, wait, I did know that. Yeah. You know how he died? Yeah. Motorcycle accident. Damn. Cool way, cool way to go out. We're talking about him. Tree Rooms is cool as hell. Yeah, we talked about him recently because he was in The Phantom. Oh, he was, he, wasn't he? He was uh, just, just chewing up that scenery in a delightful way. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Tree but rooms. that's the way, because he was 71. Yeah. And that's the way, if you're going to be a 71 year old, I think the way to go out is a motorcycle I accident. feel like you could live longer. You could live longer, also. I would prefer yeah. that. Yeah, I would also prefer that to be Man, honest. Man, I would never ride a motorbike. Mm-hmm. I feel like when I was younger, I was like, oh, I could get a motorbike. Oh, yeah. And I never did. And now I'm like, I wouldn't even step yeah. foot on a motorbike. Because you would go to the motorbike dealership and you'd say exactly that. I could get a motorbike. I could afford one too. <laughs> and he was like, do you have any money and can you ride a motorbike? And you're um, like, no, not, com- complain. not currently. I'd like to speak to your manager. I'll never come back here. <laughs> I'm never going to come I'm back. I'm afraid of riding a motorbike and I'm never coming back. <laughs> 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 what do you think of that? Yeah. That's good. You know what? The only exce- I wouldn't ride a motorbike either, but the only exception I would make, because it feels unbalanced, so you know how you balance it. Yeah. Sidecar. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know? No, I have ridden a motorbike, just oh. like little ones. Oh, like a peewee. It's or just like a called. bike. Yeah. Like it's, yeah, you yeah, know, sure, it's, sure, it's sure. easy to, it's easy. Oh. It's easy. Anyone can do it. Except wow. for Treat Williams. Treat Williams. To a point. He yeah. did it and then he. Then he didn't. Yeah. Then he did. But you know, we don't know. Maybe someone hit him. We don't no, know. They, he, he did. That's, that's what Someone happened. hit him. Someone hit him. That's the way it goes. That's the problem with those things as well. Like, 
You just get shredded. Yeah. So you'd rather be in the little sidecar. No, I'd be dri- I'd be riding the motorbike. I want a little. But con- I'd have the sidecar and it'd be filled no, with no, snacks. No, no. I'm in the sidecar, but it's covered over. Nobody's riding the motorbike. I got a little steering wheel. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Like a prank. And people are like it's a ghost. Yeah. No. Nice. And I'm like it's me. <laughs> it's me. I complained enough at the motorbike store where they yeah. built it for me. Wow. <laughs> Oh, wow. I want to speak to your manager. Oh, nice. I want to build a dumb thing. Oh, do you want to speak to the manager because you want to build a motorcycle, <laughs> but you're in, in the sidecar but you, and you have a little steering wheel, but it's, it looks like there's nobody driving, so I think there's a ghost? Yes, I do. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Thank you for anticipating my needs. Yes, I will be doing that. Thank you. Uh, classic stuff. His door's just open. Hashtag motorcycle with a sidecar, but James is in the sidecar and it's covered over and he's got a little steering wheel and he's driving the motorbike, but it looks like there's nobody <laughs> driving the motorbike. If you've gotten this far in the, in the, in the commentary, send us that on on uh, on, tw- on social media. Please. We'll know, we'll, know, we'll know you've gotten this far. Did you see the... Heavy cans, don't mind if I do. Oh! Did you see that the door was just open? He just oh, walked in? Wow. Oh, like yeah. Unlocked. Unlocked, baby. Mm. Oh, that's fun. Do you think there's a? Do you think uh, they got a micro machine sponsorship? Oh, because I would say the more dangerous thing or the more painful thing would be Lego, right? Uh yeah, I guess. I mean, some of those things had things poking up. Yeah, right. And that's fun. Yeah. Was that a light or was that like a special effect? No, that, oh, I don't know. Don't know. He's ruining this house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that, the bit where these steps on the nail, you don't actually see it, oh, but right. it really, like, you really, yeah, they get that, like the. There's so much visceral impact yeah. stuff within this. It's just, it's really good. In the movie, good. A Quiet Place. We're like an hour and a quarter in. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I always think this comes like way earlier. Quiet Place, sorry, go on. Uh, when Emily Blunt steps on the nail. Oh, you yeah. See, do you see that go in? I think you do. Maybe, yeah. Mm. I was more sympathetic to her having the baby, actually. <laughs> oh, I was yeah. like, well, that's the real yeah, right. painful part. And it's true. Yeah, but you wouldn't understand. No, I wouldn't You don't true. understand women. Uh, that's that foreshadowed that spider enough. They to the bloody have. spider. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I think this is going to destroy his house. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Why the flip not? Why would you? Those lights are so bright, bright? on the inside. My God. Those are like industrial strength yeah, lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there we go. You'd never risk it as the wet bandits. You'd no. be like, maybe there are some kids. You'd also anticipate like that he would have told somebody at this point. Yeah, right? Like yeah. the police. Yeah, yeah. This movie isn't real. That's not, it's not real at all. <laughs> And he might have finally jimmied the lock on his dad's gun cabinet and he has a real gun. Exactly. You know? I mean, he does have a gun. He does have a gun. But um, it's like a, it's like a, whatever, what's it's it called? BB like, gun. Like a pallety BB gun, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. It looks pretty good. I agree. I'm hungry. Mason, do you have any food on you? No, I ate all the I food. I know you ate the croissant earlier, but do you have any more food? Who eats pasta with a knife and fork? What do you mean? That kid, he's eating mac and cheese with a knife and you fork. You can use a spoon. Yeah, you'd use a spoon or just the knife. Yeah. Just the knife, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Just a lot of, uh, just a meal of balancing macaroni very precariously on a knife. Uh, ooh, slick. Yeah. Did that camera move? Mm. It was good. I liked it. God, this house is incredible. <laughs> okay, so what, if you, you're a small child yep. and you have to defend your childhood home. Yep. From uh, from bandits, mm-hmm. what would your what would your strategy be? Would you be, would it be similar to this? My dad had a gun. I just used the oh, gun. Oh, yeah, it's a good. You use the gun. Yeah, it's a good point. Actually, some people think in Australia you can't get guns. You absolutely could get a yeah. gun. <laughs> See, I think in this, what I would do, you, you'd, I think you'd have to aim to kill first, like definitely straight away. So I think in this instance, like you'd probably wait for them to just to open the door, yeah, and then hit sledgehammer. Yep. And just crack their head open. If you kill one of them... The other one would leave, probably. Do you reckon, or do you reckon the other one no, would they, kill you? Mm. You could also stab one of them. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. You'd, but you need that element of surprise. I think right now, you could run out and hit him with a sledgehammer. Sure. You know? Yeah. You, hit, um, you, hit you have to wield a sledgehammer, though. Like, as a kid, you remember how heavy a sledgehammer is? Yeah, but you're pumped up. You, you, you are pumped up. You're pumped up to kill. See, here's where you'd hit him with a sledgehammer. Yeah, you're right. What is that noise, Mason? Someone using an industrial cleaner out there? Uh, somebody's defending their home. A small oh, child's okay. defending their home. From, from us? Uh, yep. Cool. Yep. That's good then. For people who don't know, we're watching this. We're watching this on a PSP <laughs> and we're, we're invading a house <laughs> to, uh, to make everything feel more authentic, you know? You got to. Yeah, yeah. Do you reckon that's really slippery or pretend slippery? Oh, I think it is pretend slippery. Oh, but Unless you have some behind the scenes. 
I don't. Why would you use three points of contact, mate? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Both Everybody. feet and one hand on the... Yep. Because we know he didn't slick down the hand right. No, he absolutely did not. Yeah. But I guess he's made the the the, the correct assumption that these gentlemen don't follow pos, po, you know, the correct occupational health and safety. He didn't standards. do it either. Yeah. He didn't do it either. Just hold on to the guardrail. It looked he, like he was going for it for a second. Yeah. I'm just gonna go close the studio door. Close that studio door. Woo! <laughs> you better keep this going, mate. Okay. Oh, this is going so well. James is closing the studio door. Is it already closed? Oh, you were really quick. Was nice. Yeah. It's just loud. Just loud. That just a neighbor. Did you? The leaf blower. It's especially loud. It is especially loud. Did you not tell your neighbors we were going to be recording? Yeah, I said a shut up. Don't for do home it. alone. Yeah. And, they, and you said you can either join in or you can shut the hell up. <laughs> but you can't do both. <laughs> Gary from across the road. <laughs> I know all my neighbors. I know all their names definitely. Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Me too. Yeah. Sure. You know all my neighbors. I know all your neighbors. That's a good fall. Yeah. That's great stuff. I call them the neighbors. The neighbors, because you know how, names. how well I know their names. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. Yeah, that looks genuinely, genuinely. That does. Yeah, I think that's he's doing good. some some acting. I think he's doing some acting. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's good. That is good. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. Nice. Nailed it. Yeah. Oh, no, he's bad at this. Okay. He's not even in the thing. He's in the frame. Ah, oh, you idiot, Daniel Stern. You. Idiot. Daniel Stern, you don't know how to break into a house. Oh, ha, ha. <laughs> but that's how you should know you're being lured into a death trap. Daniel exactly, Stern. Daniel Stern. Daniel Stern. Daniel Stern. Mm. Earth to Daniel Stern. <laughs> that's right. Am I right, Mason? Uh, ring, ring. Hello, is this Daniel Stern? Yes, this yeah. is Daniel Stern. Get it speaking. together, Daniel Stern. Okay. Click. Hello, hello. I'm in the new season of For All Mankind. Is that all right? That's great, actually. Have yeah. you seen that show? No. Fuck you! Oh, whoa! <laughs> Click. I got him. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, did you, you, you watch For All Mankind? No. Is that an alternate? Is it an alternate? It's reality? Uh, Russians landed on the moon, and then that's it goes from there. First, Interesting. and okay. then it goes from there. Yeah. Okay. It's great. Right. It's really good. Mm. Yeah. Unless it's bad now. But uh, okay. Yeah. As far as up to when I've seen it, it's good. That's good. Daniel Stern might have also been in season three. I that's can't remember. Great. Yeah. Great there you go, you. Mason. Is that enough points of contact for you, you yes. son of a bitch? Yeah, that's four. That's more than you need. That's what you need. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, watch out for that because it's it's got a... No, I just put my hand on it. I wouldn't yeah. worry about it. I put my entire hand on it. <laughs> yeah, that's how you open a door, right? That's how you open a door. One point of contact on the door handle. That's how you do that. Oh, uh, Joe Pesci. You'll never learn. That's right. That's some good acting from Joe Pesci climbing down the stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reminds me of Robert De Niro's stunt work in mm. The Irishman where he beats up that guy. And now he has an M permanently burned on his hand in real right. life to remind him of Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> and Home Malone. And, home, and post which, Home Malone. Which is, you know, that's a little Easter egg because, you know, it's the home of the Malone family. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. yeah so That's great. Yeah. God, I hate this. Like, I hate oh, looking yeah. at the... I hate uh -huh. it. Yeah. Yeah, ah, it goes in enough, doesn't it? Yeah, it goes in enough. Goes in enough. You'd know about it. Yeah, you definitely know about it. Mm. I would have looked. What do you mean? I would have looked at the oh the, the stairs. stairs. Sure. Yeah, at a certain point, you'd have to go. It feels like this entire house has been yeah it's filled with traps that are going to injure me greatly. Makes me think this movie isn't real. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I don't like that. Yeah. And I don't like that, Mason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. Okay. Um. At what point, if you were one of the wet bandits and you're yep. you're trying to break into this house, how many times would you have to be badly Maimed. hurt? Yeah, before you left, like once. Yeah, <laughs> one time. Do you think it'd be the part where you just, you got your hair burned off by a blowtorch? Yeah, that would probably be one of the yeah, parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. God, yeah, that is. looks pretty severe, actually. Yeah, yeah. But you wouldn't be, because you know, James, you 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 know. Like myself, you're often powered by spite. Oh yeah. Do you think at a certain point you would be like, no, I'm going to get this stupid kid. I'm going to get him. You've got to cut your losses at mm. some point, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I think uh, I think I'm at the point in my life where I would cut my losses and not try to murder a child. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. I can't promise that. Yeah. But, you yeah. know. Because, I mean, worst ca best case scenario, you murder that child. Yes. That's good. But you'd probably feel bad afterwards. You'd be like, oh, yeah. Mm. I was mostly a burglar and now I'm a murderer. But then, and then worst case scenario is he kills you with one of his traps. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Absolutely. I saw an idea for somebody pitched on something, and I can't remember what, and I apologise. Uh -huh. Watch me just plagiarise this. Yeah, here we go. But um, the idea that they do a new version of this, uh -huh. and now Macaulay Culkin is kind of like the bad guy because one of these guys moves in like into his street, 
Oh, and he's right. all, but they're like reformed and he's like paranoid and like, <laughs> they're coming to get me again. But they're just like, I'm 90, I don't want to get anywhere. Yeah, right, I don't want to die. Yeah. Oh, and that wraps around his head and suffocates him. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, it's just poison. Mm. Just sticky poison. <laughs> that's great stuff. And that's a tar and feather trap. Absolutely. But why? It's funny. It is funny. You don't like true. jokes? No, I do like jokes. Yeah, yeah. then you calm down. Yeah. I think I would have pre-broken these Christmas ornaments. Yeah. Uh-huh. So it's just the shattered glass. Yeah. I also, if you don't have shoes on, if you have shoes on, mm. pretty, you're fine, right? Yeah, absolutely. But I think he planned it out, I feel. He knew they were going to do this and then that. Mm. Every trap works. No, he's going to kill that kid. Yeah. And we're going to see it. Yeah, we're going to see it happen. No, why would you continue to step on them? No, you'd step over them, if anything. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh. And it's what you don't see every day. Just, it's what you don't see anymore, just a big wooden cabinet filled with glasses that your family never, ever uses. I have one of those, and by that I mean my parents do. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> so it's yours. As God, as yeah, well, it will be yeah, at some nice. point when my parents You're going to use all the glasses? I'm going to sort through all of that. You're going to use them all? No, I'm going to sell them. I reckon use them all once oh, yeah. and then sell them used. Okay. Don't, don't wash them out. <laughs> Put them back and then, then be like, for sale. <laughs> Come get them. Come get them. Yes, that is mold on there. Yeah, you're welcome. That's how you know the vintage. Ah, <laughs> uh, Daniel Stern. Wow. No honor among thieves. I agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Joe Pesci does like like physical comedy really well. Agreed. He's not in a lot of comedies. I guess he's funny in Goodfellas, but not funny like a clown. <laughs> Excuse me? No, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And at the end, he doesn't tell him. Like, I think he doesn't tell his parents, sorry, that what happened. Okay. They just get arrested and Macaulay Culkin's like, well, I guess I'm just going to keep this to myself. I'd tell everyone. I'd go, yeah. just, I'd go to school. I'd tell everyone. They'd be like, you're a liar. Yeah. They'd be like, I got his gold tooth. That's right. I pulled it out of his mouth <laughs> as he lay dying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the predator. Yeah. We do have an animation on our channel by Ethan. Oh, um, yeah. Who did an animated Kevin McAllister versus the Predator is thing. That how, uh, Macaulay Cul- is that how Macaulay Culkin I spotted us think so. in the wild? I don't think it is. I think yeah. it was that was after, maybe. I don't know, to be honest. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, that was a very surreal moment where I'm like, fucking Macaulay Culkin. Because yeah, like, you're, <laughs> you're like, is this, guy, is this a fake guy? Yeah. Is this a fake guy? <laughs> is he a fake Hollywood guy? Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying. Is he not real? That's right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, how did he know this spider would be here, do you think? This is why I don't think this movie is real. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think he knew. I think he's been... Would you pick up that spider? Do you have a problem with spiders? I don't love them. Yeah. Mm. Found a white tail the other day in the bath. Oh, yeah? But it was as the bath was filling up. So you drowned I was about it. to put one of my kids in. Yeah, oh, it was yeah. like in there. It was like as big as a 50% piece. That's a poisonous or venomous. I don't know which one. Spider. Oh. But um, I just tell my kids, like, just don't touch them. Just come. Whatever it is, just come and get me. I'll uh-huh. sort it out. Because, you know, Australia spiders Yeah, or you never know, yeah. And that was one of the moments where, like, my son's like, you won't touch any spider, but he's like, but this one you can touch. And I'm like, no, this is one of the ones you absolutely do not touch. <laughs> this is no, <laughs> don't touch any of them. And then he's but, like, but, but especially what, this one. But what about this one? And you're like, that's the same one. <laughs> that's the same one. But I'm hungry. No, <laughs> no, no. That's just a tarantula. They're not even venomous or poisonous. That's right. They They're nothing. sarcastic. Yeah, that's right. Oh, oh yeah, I'm poisonous. Ooh. Oh, poisonous or venomous. Oh, you don't even know which one. That's cool. Doesn't matter. It's the same. Oh, it's not, though. No, it's not, is it? Oh, shut up, tarantula. Get the kid, Mason. Yeah, nice. You know? Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I just remember this being like the whole movie. Oh, Look, there's a little guy. It's a, there's a man. Oh, that is a little man, isn't <laughs> it's it? It's just a man, isn't it? That's just a man. God. <laughs> That's a no, I think that looked that looked like a like a. Well, it's a. I, I know it's a like a, a like a smaller person. Mm. So yeah. Yeah. But I mean, a more. It, it looked that looked to me like like a teenage stunt man. Yes. Yeah. I'm sure he's a youngish man. Mm, yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you should walk across that. Yeah. I think walk so. across it just to clarify. Mm-hmm. Do you do you ever do one of those things? You know the slack line that people do. Do you ever see the slack line? They tie it up between two trees and they got they do the slack and they're like, whoa. Have I ever done the slack line? <laughs> I've done the slack line, yeah. How, knowing how long you've known me, <laughs> yeah. do you think I've ever done the slack I've line? So, well, I know you do yo-yos. Bearing in mind I'm doing contact <laughs> juggling right now. I've got one of those big crystal balls and I'm moving it around all o- across my arms and my shoulders right now. You do now. it the whole time, But yeah. do you think I do a slack line? I think you could do the slack line if you wanted to. I guess. Yeah. 
All right, let's go do a slack line. Yeah, absolutely. All right, we'll do it after this. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't do this. No, neither I. I just climb down. I yeah. I go down. Just go get him a different way. Get him a different way. Well, so that's not that high, is it? No, that's pretty high. I reckon you'd break your legs if you fell from that height. Oh, he's yeah, going to chop really the high, line. Yeah. He's going to chop the No, he's line. going to chop the line. You're what right. What are you, idiot? You stupid idiot. Just go down the stairs. Yeah. What are you thinking? Well, you'd hate to land on that brick wall. Yeah. Would garden shears cut through that cleanly? I guess mm. if that were sharp. Um, if you spent an if you've spent a day sharpening, like <laughs> he, he would have, because he's has. like, well, I might need to chop their limbs off. Yeah, this, exactly. So. How am I going to cut their noses off? I'll, yeah. use, I'll use this. That's right. Damn. I don't feel like they the, that was the right amount of distance. Yeah, yeah, swing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Hate to be rude. Yeah, hate to be rude, but not a good move. Yeah. <laughs> God, it's it's bad when you revisit something and you notice and all you know, the like flaws. All flaws, you know. That's yeah, hard. You should have brought out a little. Dinging bell. Dude, you got to run faster than that. Yeah, they're going to catch you. Come on, man. That is not fast. If you didn't spend so much time doing the, you you lousy word, you could have just grabbed him and shot him. You could have grabbed him, grabbed his little head, and just (laughs) dropped it right into the ground, just right into the asphalt. Yep. Kill him in one. Kill him in one. Mm. That's what they say. Kill him in one. Oh, 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 if you, you would have called the cops already. Just, yeah, run also. Yeah. Oh, that's your better idea, Joe Pesci. Come on, mate. It would be a gun, right? Yeah, a gun. Yeah. <laughs> Let's kill him with these guns we brought. <laughs> uh, well, that's dangerous. Yeah, that's very dangerous. Yeah, there's still electricity on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Damn. God, imagine if that was your house. God damn. God, imagine the water bill more than anything else. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, so their plan was just to go into the house? Yeah, this is a different house. I know. But yes. Yeah, great. Mm. It's fun. Put him on a little hook. Yeah. Mm. Do you reckon there's a little harness in the back? Or do you reckon it's really hanging from his t-shirt? Oh, I think that it's a tilt the room situation. Oh, he's okay. I he's think sideways. he's laying on his yeah. back yep. and the two, the other two are in harnesses above Do your boots him. up, man. Yeah. Do your boots up. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. and that's okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. You'll notice all the, all, the, um, all the cups and stuff are just being smashed against <laughs> the side of the cabinet there. Uh, no. He did it. Whatever his name is. Patrick S- Wilson, whatever his name is. Patrick Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Patrick, Patrick Wilson. Star of the uh, upcoming Aquaman 2. Already out Aquaman 2. That's right. I don't know. Oh, yeah, they bloody are. Well, took them bloody long enough. Mm. And they took them three weeks, however long <laughs> this has been. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, oh great. Oh, my God. Yeah. Mm. See what I mean? So the real the real hero of this movie is that weird guy. Yeah, the with weird the shovel. guy. The real hero is Who that shovel. He did something to his son, so his son doesn't talk to him. Yeah, and yeah. the snow shovel, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. In fact, the the real the real hero is it's the it's a sentient shovel. Yeah. It's it's haunted. Oh, it's haunted. And it's told the man to kill those other two men. <laughs> so it's just a coincidence. He's in a different movie. Oh, okay, right. What happened so he's is got he, his own adventures. He's got his own adventures. He what happened is he accidentally killed his son with a shovel. Oh no. I don't say that, but then the the spirit of the Boy went into the shovel. Spirit of the boy and, went into the shovel, and the, sh- and the shovel then is telling the man to kill other people. Okay, for some for reasons I don't know. I don't mind because of Christmas. I don't hate that. Yeah, Mason. it's good, isn't it? Yeah, I watched that movie. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. It's like that Kevin James thing you said earlier. It's the Kevin James thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I wouldn't taunt that guy further. No, because he would try and kill you in Second Home Alone. Yeah, that's true. Mm. When did they get out of prison in Second Home? Like, did they, they escape? They did escape through a laundry thing nice. from memory. Yeah. And there's a there's sort of like a creepy old man. There's like a pigeon woman that he's afraid oh, of. Okay, or whatever. sure, 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 yeah. Yeah, and they become friends. Yeah, great. Etc. Uh huh. Nice. Yeah. I was uh, for a moment there. I'm like, what an odd combination of snacks for a child <laughs> to eat. But then I'm like, oh, it's for Santa and the reindeer. Okay, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. It's what you got to do. But yeah. you still believe in even after what's happened to you right now. You don't think? How could you believe in any god or Santa <laughs> Claus? After went, the torment you were, we were. He we went were, to church. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Santa's not from church. He's from church. St. Nicholas. Oh, that's true, yeah. You idiot. I am an idiot. God, you must hate being wrong all the time. Or you're used to it, I don't I'm know. I'm used to it and I love it. <laughs> Santa, I think it's cool. That's the best way to be. Because sometimes you're right and you're like, whoa, what a feeling. You know? Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. They have too many kids, by the way. That's the janitor from Avengers. <laughs> well, what was he even cleaning up in that room, in that big warehouse? Just a warehouse full of rubble. Just sweeping around. The entire around. building worth of rubble. Oh, it's working hard yeah. then. Yeah, yeah. 
bloody hell they're working. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably got a bloody union job. Mm. Only time to do nothing. Typical, uh, typical, 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 must be nice. Typical, typical, and must be nice. Typical, and it would be nice. Hashtag like. typical and must be nice. <laughs> if you've gotten this far, let us know. I love all these hashtags we don't remember or I understand. Know, absolutely. Yeah. Never explain them to us. No, we don't need to know. It's yeah. not about us. It's about the engagement. It's Excellent. about you getting on Twitter. That's true. Yeah, that's Which is the, the best place to be. It's not a, it's not a, not a dying medium at all. No, nah, it's good. I love it. It's my favourite place to be. I love watching a social media company collapse. I'm not even joking. I do. I genuinely love that. <laughs> Remember what happened to MySpace? Yep. Oh. Still love it. I still think about it. Yeah, absolutely. Keeps me warm at night. That's right. Didn't Fox buy it at one point? Wasn't, it, wasn't that what happened to it? Yeah, maybe. They, they bought it at like... Or for, Yahoo or I don't yeah, know. Yeah, they bought or it Fox for some astounding Yahoo. amount of money, yeah. like billions, and then they sold it for mm. like 50 million It tried to rebrand as like a music platform Yeah, I think maybe point. Justin Timberlake owned it at one point. Oh, Justin Timberlake, the internet's favourite new enemy. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah, people hate that guy now. No, I think he's cool. Got him, we got him. Finally. Mm-hmm. Hashtag Team Justin. <laughs> yeah. That's the hashtag. Hashtag, hashtag team, team Justin. Team Justin. <laughs> or Team Britney. No. Depending on who. Justin. Okay. <laughs> hashtag Just Team Justin. Just Team Justin, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know, he's like, all I want for Christmas is my family to come back. Mm. But like a, you know. And a Nintendo. Like a Nintendo. And if it's 1990, is the Super Nintendo out? I mean, Super Nintendo. Be well, they, if it wasn't. You'd demand, at this point, you'd be like, you abandoned me and you didn't even notice. And you went to another continent and I had to fight yeah. some murderous bandits. I want you to import a Super Famicom <laughs> from Japan to here. Yep. You set it up for me. You figure out how to do that. You mm-hmm. get it modded or whatever. So it works here. And I want all the games. Uh, it came out 1990 in yeah. Japan and South Korea. So you'd have to go one of those versions. And 91 in North America, Europe, and Oceania. Yeah. Oh, you'd be, James, you would be, you would be the toast of the town because you would have the Japanese Famicom. Yeah. Whereas the, the, the American Super NES. Completely, completely different. Completely different, yeah. But in Australia, we've got the Japanese version. We've got the cool looking version. Yeah. I hate that. Purple and grey one. I think yeah. it looks like shit. Yeah. We got the cool one, but the, the cool, cool colours. We got the cool colours. That's right. That's right. I don't mind this American one. I think it's cool. I don't think it's as cool. Wow. Well, I'll well. tell you. I'll tell you straight up. I'll tell <laughs> your family. You get them in here. I'll tell them. Wow. Yep. Wow. Get them on the phone. Okay. No, actually, get them here. Okay, I'll get them. Get, get them tell here. them to get an Uber from uh, wherever they are. Yeah. At their at their expense. Mm. Mm. Damn. You'd be like, are you my mother? Or are you another demon haunting my house? <laughs> I'll kill you. I've got a blowtorch. I'll cleanse you <laughs> with pure fire. He would too. Yeah. I've been forever changed by my experience, and you will be too. This is, this is nice that he loves his mum, don't you think? I guess. And vice versa? I guess. Mm. It's a very rare thing for like a kid actor to be anything, and it's, he's universally liked. That's true, isn't it? You know? Yeah. Mm. I think they're getting better at it, though. I Kids reckon being we've actors. seen. Yeah, I reckon we've mm. seen. I, I'm not. I think it's probably not even the acting. It is what they, what the the persona they want to give the kid. Okay, sure. Like I think they're they're much better now. At, at sort of like filmmakers a realistic. going. Yeah, filmmakers going. Oh, if we make, look, she did all this for nothing. Yeah, oh, because they're all back. Yeah, <laughs> they just caught the next flight. Yeah, for free or whatever. <laughs> um, they um. Yeah, I think I think they're better now at, at going. Well, if we give a kid a catchphrase and he's like, man, 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 man yeah. everybody will find them thoroughly annoying. Yeah, exactly. So I'm a bad little boy. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Friends. Friends forever. And he's at this point he's he's still a kid, so it's that's, that's okay. True, yeah. You can be friends with him at this point. Yeah, in time, yeah, 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 yeah. But not later. Yeah. yeah. And as your buzz, I gave you. I used your gun to shoot many men. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, a taste for it now. Absolutely. God, I would love to know what Macaulay Culkin got paid for this and then the next one. Well, I, there's no way of knowing, isn't Let's there? Let's find out. Let's tweet at him and ask. Yeah. Say, hey, Macaulay How much Culkin, money do you have? Hey, do you remember us from years ago when you said you liked the thing we did? <laughs> well, how much money you make? How much money you got now? <laughs> Please don't do that, by the way. <laughs> Hashtag how much money you got now. You got 100K okay. for this. Okay. Um, That's earned, $1990. Yep, you well. earned 1 million for My Girl a year later, and okay. then 1992, you got 4.5 million for Home Alone. Mm. Well, I, I mean, it, for for My Girl, he had to get stung by all those bees. That's true. <laughs> what do you get for home, uh, for My Girl 2? He's not in My Girl 2, James. Unless but he's it, in it a dream sequence. They should have still paid him. Yeah. I mean, that movie doesn't work. 
if he's not mentioned. Mm. You got eight million for Richie Rich, yeah. and I think that was the kind of the last kind of big kid role. Yeah, that he right, did. right, right, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. God, he was so rich in that movie, wasn't he? he had a McDonald's and everything. That's right. God. <laughs> for a second there, I thought he was gonna. The dad was gonna put that gold <laughs> tooth in his mouth. Should have put it up his nose. But he puts it in his. He puts it in his mouth and he, in the exact spot, indicating that he and Joe Pesci's character are brothers. Oh my God! That's right. They got the same missing That's tooth. That's right. For some and then reason. they play a sinister sting. Yeah. And then you know. They play Secret. Roxanne, a sinister That's sting. Oh, <laughs> That's right. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Look, the guy and his son and whatever. Because of earlier, he was like, I don't talk oh, to my son because right, he's right. Catholic or whatever. Oh, like, so oh. that's his granddaughter. Yeah, n- yes, that's his okay, granddaughter, right. yeah. Okay. Okay, sure. And guess who did this? Macaulay Culkin. Yeah, he did it. But they saved each other. Because of the he, shovel. I'm saying him with the shovel. He hit those men with the shovel. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, did he. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. God, it would feel good to hit someone with a shovel, like deservedly. Mm, absolutely. Imagine that feeling. So that's the sun in the that's brown. That's the sun, yeah. There. Okay, all right. Yeah. Do you think it was Colin Hanks? Yep. Nice. I can go to sleep. And <laughs> <laughs> Complications. Uh, my Sometimes son, I get th- things wrong too, much. My son doesn't talk to me anymore. He formed a band in Australia. <laughs> he had a big hit with Land Down Under. That's right. Yeah. Uh, wow. That was fun. That was fun. That was a fun movie. That was a fun movie. Yeah. That was a fun movie. They don't get better than that, probably. <laughs> Movies? I haven't, I haven't seen three, four, or five. Yeah. I think Buzz is in five. Okay. In this, as the same character. He's like a cop now or whatever. Oh, yeah, that's right. I think. So that's the one where the, 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 the burglars are in an unfortunate situation. They because of the... Because of capitalism. Yeah, because of capitalism got yeah. them. Yeah, yeah right. Bloody, okay. you have to, have to put politics in everything. They couldn't get a 1983, whatever it was, Pile of groceries or whatever happened in this mm, movie. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what's our hashtag? What have we decided upon? All is, those things. I'm not. I'm not thinking. Not doing one. a new one. I'm not doing. Because normally one. you get a name. Oh, hashtag Wrecker Hacker. <laughs> the Foley mixer is Gary Wrecker. Oh, love that. I love that. That's a great name. Yeah, that's right. Uh, if you do have any suggestions, uh, of course, for any um, hashtags. commentaries or hashtags, please let us know. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, because obviously this is the last commentary for the year, but that's there will right. be more at bigsandwich.co. Mm-hmm. Among other things, as mentioned, video game Let's Plays, early podcasts. Uh, we're taking a bit of a break from YouTube over the uh, over January. There will be some old repackaged stuff. Don't even worry that's about right. it. But if, you, if you're missing us somehow for some reason, yep. if, you, if you're uh, home for the holidays... Yep. Uh, bigsandwich.co, there's so much stuff gonna there. It's going to still be going. That's right. Wow, Macaulay Culkin, top billing over Joe Pesci. Whoa. That sucks for Joe Pesci. That's no wonder right. he's so mad. <laughs> it's not like a Jack Nicholson Batman situation, you know, where you yeah, got top true. billing. Mm. All right, uh, yeah, bigsandwich.co if you're interested. Or just, you know, thanks for supporting us. That's right. All right, thanks, everyone. Grab that, Jimmy, guys. We'll see you in the new year. Good. Bye. This isn't the last thing. There'll be more stuff well, I'll see, I'm saying I'll see them in the new year okay. I'm saying it in a threatening way Okay, you have some time to get your affairs in order and then I'm going to see you in the new oh, year Oh, do you want somebody to home alone you January 1st bang <laughs> bang. bang bang okay bye the dog's bye. barking bye <laughs>